Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics Crashes. Movie fans all over the world are crazy. Chapter 21. With the arrival of Don. Among the camps, Colonel Phillips had hardly slept last night. He's sitting at his typewriter right now, spelling out the death notice for Steve Rogers. The notice was sent to Senator Bullard in Congress. After all, Rogers is now a senator. Until he saw Peggy Carter walk in. Then he frowned and said. You shouldn't have let ye go with that kid. You know it's purely about sending them to their deaths. To be honest, I've already started to like this guy ye, he's smart and capable. He's also humorous. But now, I actually want to write a eulogy for him. As far as I know, this guy ye has no other relatives in his family. So, should I hand over ye's death notice directly to you? Carter. The old man is a person who has seen the world and experienced too much. Obviously, he's not the type to put sadness on his face easily. Carter's eyes twitched slightly. Then he sighed quickly. Her fingers gripping the corner of her clothes couldn't help turning white. After a pause, he replied in a firm tone. No. I'm sure he'll be back. They'll all come back safe and sound. And just when Carter wanted to say something more. I only heard bursts of noise suddenly coming from outside the tent in the camp. The colonel stopped his typing hands. Then he looked at Carter. Carter seemed to sense something. She turned her head and rushed out. In the camp, the crowd is boiling. It's them. They're back. He's back with our brother. Following the eyes of everyone looking forward to it. On the muddy road that leads to the depths of the forest and connects to the horizon. A group of people, slowly showing their heads. Headed by Rogers, Captain of the United States. It is the recognized title he obtained after this battle. Then on his left, there was a face from the Dragon Kingdom, Yi Ling, who was as tall and handsome as Captain America. And after experiencing the baptism of war, it also reflects his heroic spirit. Carter saw Yi Ling at a glance, and then their eyes met, her eyes were moist. To Roger's right, is Bucky. Bucky was carrying an energy rifle, though paler a little. But it also looks like a tough guy. As for behind the three of them. That is a mighty soldier. In them, there is no sign of depression at all. Some are just high heads, this is the pride of the winner. They held all kinds of captured weapons and drove mighty tanks and chariots. Seeing this scene, the other soldiers in the barracks were envious and admired. Everyone gathered around and hugged each other's separated brothers. Then, Yi Ling grabbed Roger's right hand. Shouting to the crowd, let's cheer for the captain of the United States. People immediately hugged Roger's and threw them high. Yes, that's what Yi Ling wanted. As the crowd swarmed toward Rogers. He took the opportunity to slip out. The speed of the movement, this move really deserves to be practiced since childhood. After all, he didn't want to be smoked to death by a group of stinky soldiers. Instead of smelling the soldier, shouldn't it be time to give Carter a big hug? So it turns out that Kate is indeed fragrant. Not only the body is fragrant, but the lips are also fragrant. Carter gave Yi Ling a deep kiss without hesitation. How many single dogs will notice them at this time? Oh, the colonel seems to have seen it. Then the old man shook his head, sighed, is this your belief, then turned and left. Mission. Rescue the soldiers completed. A total of 432 people managed to return to the camp alive. A total of awakening value points awarded. 12,960 points. Awakening value balance. 19,960. Before that, after completing three missions to protect the doctor and a hidden mission. Yi Ling's awakening value is 7,000 points. But what he didn't expect was that so many soldiers survived this time. Well, he intends to take back what he said before, the system or something, it's just too awesome. The one-time awakening value reward of more than 10,000 made Yi Ling realize what it means to get rich overnight. Yi Ling looked at his system interface again. Name. Yi Ling. Gender. Male. Race. Human. Superman. Kryptonian. Energy level. Extraordinary level. Level 1. 512. 10 thousandths. Attributes. Strength. 96. Affects the strength of the body's physiological systems including muscles, bones, and neural networks. Agility. 96. Affects the sensitivity of the body's neural network and reflex activities, making the body more rapid, accurate, and coordinated. Physical strength. 
96, affects the stability of the body's morphological structure and functional activities, as well as the ability to adapt to the external environment. Intelligence. 96, affects cognition, thinking, memory, analysis, and resilience dominated by mental power. Note. The average value of each attribute of an ordinary adult male is constant at 10. Bloodline ability. Energy absorption. Extraordinary physique. Fighting instinct. Insight into subtlety. Sharp thinking. Language proficiency. Awakening value balance 19,960. It took exactly one month to come to the front line. In one month, his attributes increased from 66 points to 96 points. Looking at it this way, is his growth rate still slow? To be honest, the previous, fight, with Red Skull. Outsiders looked awesome. But only Yi Ling knew how much he had contributed. In short, Yi Ling feels that even if he is nominated for an Oscar winner, it is not impossible. Now for Yi Ling, the most important thing is naturally upgrade. On this day, taking advantage of the temporary end of the war and the reorganization of the army. Yi Ling got a chance to be left alone. The sun in the sky is also extremely hot. It made him very happy. Ever since, he came to a valley rarely visited by people. System, assign 9,500 awakening points to the energy level column. Ding. Congratulations to the host, successfully broke through and promoted to the second level of the extraordinary level. With a beep from the system, Yi Ling suddenly felt a tremor all over his body. Yes, this is the feeling, this long lost feeling. The body is growing at an accelerated rate, the blood is flowing rapidly, and the cells are constantly evolving. Humph. Yi Ling couldn't help but let out a muffled groan, and all the muscles in his body tensed involuntarily. Bloodline ability awakening. Anti-gravity flight, biological standpoint. Boom. I saw a wave of energy surrounding Yi Ling's body, spreading to the surroundings instantly. Like a shockwave, it swept away. The trees were blown by like a strong wind, and the trunks were lowered. What is even more amazing is that under his feet. Those small stones seemed to be attracted by some kind of force. Slowly left the ground, floating above the sky. At the same time, Yi Ling's toes also left the ground. Anti-gravity flight. Use the special energy released by Superman to resist gravity and realize anti-gravity flight. Bio-energy position. This position is composed of the special energy released by itself, which can not only act on itself, but also act on most other objects and organisms, and has a considerable degree of protection in the role of stabilizing the form of matter. It is good. Very good. Very good. Yi Ling thought it would be nice to be able to awakening a flight. Unexpectedly, there is such a thing as awakening a bioenergy position. In this way, it is almost a certainty for him to seize the cosmic cube in the future. Flying may have been hundreds of thousands, or even millions of years ago. When the human ancestors looked up at the sky for the first time and saw the birds flying across the sky, the yearning was deeply in their memory. Therefore, in the following years, human beings have never given up the dream of being able to fly freely in the sky. It can be viewed from the perspective of biology, fluid mechanics, and aerodynamics. Human beings are not creatures that can fly into the sky relying on their body structure. But fortunately, human beings have intelligence that other creatures on Earth do not have. The appearance of airplanes, hot air balloons, and even spaceships and rockets. It not only allows human beings to overcome gravity and reach the stratosphere of the atmosphere. It can even touch the universe, stand on the distant moon and have a bird's eye view of our blue star. However, this flight experience is not enough for some people. Not enough. Does the so-called flight have to be sitting in an iron box isolated from the air? Then rely on chemical fuel propulsion, violently against gravity. What kind of freedom is flying trapped in a box? But all of this, to Yi Ling, doesn't care anymore. Whether others can fly, whether they can fly freely, has nothing to do with him. Because he's Superman, he's already mastered flying. I saw Yi Ling slightly bent his knees and assumed a posture of jumping upwards. Although under the blessing of anti-gravity ability, this action is dispensable. This is more like a psychological hint telling myself, I'm going to fly. Then, boom. Like a missile fired from the magazine, Yi Ling soared into the sky. Anti-gravity acceleration is not a reaction force propulsion in the ordinary sense. 
but because Yi Ling originally still exists as a physical substance, it will still collide with the surrounding air. So when he took off, there was a crisp sound of a sonic boom. Even due to the excessive speed, the temperature and air pressure of part of the air were disturbed instantaneously, leaving a trail cloud. What does it feel like to fly high in the air against air resistance? Yi Ling can only say that it was really uncomfortable at all. At this speed, his face seemed to be being scraped by a cold blade, and even his breathing was blocked. Definitely, with Yi Ling's current physical fitness, he can withstand it, but it is definitely not comfortable. But, Yi Ling is not stupid, he has another ability that is useless. Field Exhibition, a series of stages. Biological Standpoint, Expand. The biological standpoint can provide a degree of protection. With anti-gravity flight, it is perfect. Not only can it effectively reduce air resistance, but it can even play a role in maintaining a constant temperature. So, this is the full version, fly free. Woohoo! What? I can fly. After turning on the biological position, there is no need to worry about the mouth of the screaming in the air will be filled with air. This is the first time Yi Ling has felt so free and unfettered since he was born. Watching the clouds pass by quickly not far from him. Then lower your head, the mountains, forests and rivers on the ground have become sandboxes. If you look closely, you can even see those neat miniature houses. As well as toy cars driving on the road, as well as black dot file size humans. At this moment, Yi Ling felt that all his troubles had disappeared, and he even felt like he was in heaven. It's no wonder that people think that heaven is the sky, not in a cave, a lake, or a washing machine. Now, there is nothing to stop Yi Ling from enjoying the sunshine alone. As altitude increases, the shielding effect of clouds, atmosphere, and ozone on sunlight decreases. For Yi Ling, that is simply the best sunbathing place. And by absorbing sunlight, the efficiency of converting it into energy has also been improved even more. In the air, I changed to a lying position and slowly drifted with the wind. Yi Ling felt that it would be great if he could have a glass of ice juice and some snacks at hand. How could the people on the ground at at the moment imagine it? Now there is a guy lying 10,000 meters above their heads, fishing and sunbathing on vacation. Working part-time is not wanting to work part-time. Yi Ling even felt that he could lie in the sky for a whole month without getting down. But the ideal is beautiful, but the reality is very skinny. As the sun gradually sinks to the horizon. Yi Ling had to end his vacation. Find a no man's land so that when you land, you won't be mistaken for Jesus. Well, or being chased and bombed by enemy, friendly ah uh, guns. Then he successfully returned to the small town where the troops were stationed. Yi, where have you been all day? As soon as Yi Ling walked to his tent, he saw Carter popping up. I've been waiting for you here for two hours. Did you really go drinking with those guys? After speaking, Carter leaned over and sniffed his coat specially. There is no smell of alcohol or smoke, but a nice sun-like smell. Peggy, would you believe me if I said, I went to the sun? Carter supported her forehead, but she was a little speechless, and thought for a while before opening her mouth. Okay. I know everyone should have a little secret. But I went to the mountains alone to bask in the sun for a day, is your skin okay? Okay. Okay, your skin is so tight that even I envy you. Carter couldn't help but said sourly. And Yi Ling shrugged, saying that she couldn't do anything about skin care. Then you are in such a hurry to find me, is there something very important? Seeing Yi Ling pretending to be stupid again, Carter couldn't help but give him a blank look. So I can't find you if I have nothing to do. Okay, then shall I go? It is very rare to see Carter playing petty temper. Yi Ling quickly grabbed her hand and said. There are indeed some little secrets, but please trust me. There will be a surprise for you then. The corners of Carter's mouth curled up slightly, and he raised his head to look into Yi Ling's eyes. Oh, is it so? Then a row of white teeth gently bit the bright red lower lip, his eyes were slightly dazed. Cough, 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 cough. But then, a series of coughing broke the atmosphere. The two quickly separated and stood some distance away. Rogers looked a little embarrassed, not knowing where to put his hands. Sorry, but, maybe I shouldn't have come out. However, Chief Carter, we should give him an answer to the matter we discussed with the colonel earlier. At the moment, Carter has returned to her usual iceberg and cold beauty. 
She nodded, and said in an unusually serious way. Well, I was discussing this with ye just now. With regard to the establishment of the Special Operations Squad, I am sure the Colonel will agree. It seemed that the embarrassment just now had never happened at all. Yi Ling became the second rank of extraordinary level. Then awakening flight, the scene of flying into the sky was cut off by the movie. Otherwise, the audience in another world will definitely explode. So during this time, who is the camera aimed at? Similar to the original plot of the movie, it was given to Captain America Rogers. There is no doubt that Rogers has become famous after the battle not long ago. After all, for the 400 captives in the Hydra base, and many people. He is the savior, and he is the hero in people's hearts. As for Yi Ling, what he conquered was, of course, audiences from another world. Rogers definitely turned down his, tour, afterward. Because he has already planned to put all his energy on fighting Hydra. So the idea of forming a special operations team came from him. Needless to say, Roger's default candidates are Yi Ling and Bucky. But the three of them obviously didn't have the conditions to form a complete combat team. So he found a few guys from the previous battle. They have good hands, excellent military literacy, and a high fighting spirit. Rogers soon found them in the tavern. At the cost of one more round of beer, Rogers managed to lure them in. But at this moment, a woman who attracted everyone's attention appeared in the tavern. This woman is dressed in a dress, and then has blonde hair and blue eyes. She looks like she is going to a prom. And Rogers knew that this woman was looking for him. Rogers, Chief Carter has other business. She asked me to tell you that you should visit Mr. Stark's laboratory tomorrow morning. It should provide the equipment you want there. I have to say, this woman is really beautiful. Compared with Peggy Carter, who is also a great beauty, she has a different flavor. After all, Carter is not from the United States. But this one in front of her is obviously an authentic girl from the United States. And our inexperienced Captain Rogers looked at the girl at the moment, as if his soul had been taken away. Until everyone left, he still stared at the door frame and couldn't take his eyes off. Then Bucky, who put down his glass, patted the guy on the shoulder. A little sour, and a little jealous. Okay, now I'm little transparent. Both you and ye have found a beautiful home. Just leave me alone, are you two fools really happy? Hearing what Bucky said, Rogers could only smile. Don't worry, Bucky. Maybe she has a good girlfriend, don't you think so? After that, there is no need to say more. Rogers took care of everyone else and just waited for Yi Ling, who was out, to come back. After all, Yi Ling is the key figure in this special operations team. Because in the last battle, Yi Ling was the only one who saw the distribution of HYDRA's other bases. If Yi Ling isn't here, where is the special operations team going to find those Hydra? But just outside the camp, Rogers bumped into Yi Ling and Carter. But now it's better, I can be regarded as a person who pursues goals. Thinking of this, Rogers felt less sour in his heart. Time came to the second day. Inside the secret base of the Ministry of Strategic Science. Yi Ling and Rogers planned to pick out some useful equipment in Howard's laboratory. And Yi Ling knew that soon, it would be the time for Rogers to officially acquire the shield of Captain America. But before that, the two still need to find Carter and connect with them. It's just that when they reached the office area, they didn't see Carter's figure. It seems that she left temporarily because of other business. But behind another desk, a figure stood up. That's right, that blonde girl again. Yi Ling noticed it very keenly. At the moment Roger's heartbeat suddenly accelerated a little. Apparently this girl also has a lot of interest in Roger's. So Yi Ling is the kind of person who can't see the atmosphere clearly. He doesn't want to be like Roger's, who likes to be a light bulb. So Yi Ling found a reason, retreated, turned around, and left. Roger's chatted hotly with the girl. Until the girl boldly grabbed his collar. Then Roger's was kissed by her. No, more than that. It should be said that Roger's first kiss was taken away by her. It is definitely impossible for Yi Ling to forget this episode. Of course he was happy to give Roger's and the blonde a go. But at this moment, Carter also appeared. She came in a hurry and almost turned the corner. Fortunately, Yi Ling grabbed her back. Shish. Don't go there. Yi Ling pulled her a little closer. 
Carter's face immediately turned red, and she lowered her voice. Don't make trouble, how bad it is to be seen. Now is work time. Seeing the shy look of the strong woman Carter. Yi Ling's eyes were full of smiles. You still know it's not good to be seen. So you can't go there. Well, give that kid a few more minutes. Carter's head was full of question marks at first, and then he suddenly realized something. You mean Rogers. With her. Yi Ling nodded his head, Carter also lowered his head, and stopped talking. After all, compared to the girl from the United States, Carter, who is a girl from the country of Yin, is still much more conservative. It's just that the atmosphere right now is a bit, hard to describe. Yi Ling and Carter are now hiding in a corner and eavesdropping on another couple, Bobo. How about we have one too? Then, Yi Ling whispered in Carter's ear naughtily. But what was waiting for Yi Ling was a punch. Well, he shouldn't think Carter is easy to bully. Hiss. Yi Ling had no choice but to pretend that she was being beaten very painfully. And what happened here finally alarmed Rogers. After all, no matter what, Rogers is also a super soldier, and he still has some ear power. Yi Ling and Carter stood at the door solemnly. Then I saw Rogers hurried over. Embarrassed, he stuffed his tie into his clothes. Let's go, I'll take you to find Mr. Stark. Carter glanced at the two of them, said coldly, and turned away. Then Yi Ling couldn't hold back anymore, and he immediately moved towards Rogers. Steve, do you know what you look like now, what do you look like? Rogers was obviously asked, did he look like a caught thief? But only Yi Ling continued. It's like you just had a hot pot meal. It's still the spicy one. Rogers was even more confused, hot pot. He vaguely remembered, isn't this the special delicacy of Longguo? Then he suddenly remembered that when he was a child, he and Bucky went to Yi Ling's house to eat hot pot once. It's just that after eating, if one mouth is hot, it's called a red fire. Blanche. Rogers finally came to his senses, and quickly wiped the lipstick on his mouth with his hand. I cannot accept. Why, Master Yi is the biggest hero in this battle. But the biggest hero was ignored like a transparent person in the end. One on one singled out Red Skull, beat Red Skull to the brim. Just ask if you guys are awesome. Huh. Master Bo Yi is here, and he can kill them all. Where's Bucky? Bucky's trying his best too. Leave them alone. Where's Captain America? What's Captain America doing? What are the others doing? Hashtag Rogers State Hash. I'm convinced. If it wasn't for Captain America trying to grab the head, would Master Yi let Red Skull go? But take a look, in the end Captain America has gained both fame and fortune, and brought the soldiers back as king, wishing to raise his tail to the sky. Hey, how else can we say that we Long Kingdom people are humble and low-key? Do things in a low-key manner, pretend to be silent, and finally make an appearance on stage, blinding their dog eyes. Some viewers first felt that Yi Ling's credit and limelight were taken away by Captain America. So everyone is fighting for Yi Ling. In the eyes of others, however, this is what Captain America deserves. Yo yo. Yi Fen can't hold back anymore. Captain America is Captain America because he never does it alone. It's ample proof that Captain America has the makings of a leader. Being able to lead others to smash Hydra, this is where Rogers is better than Yi. Captain America deserves its name, what's wrong? Definitely, there are some people who see the problem from a different angle. I'm wondering, is being held up to the sky by those soldiers, is it more fragrant than Carter's hot kiss? He he he, Ka and Yi Dang laughed straight away. It's too sweet. You have won fame, and I have a beautiful woman in my arms. Everyone has a bright future. Is there a choice between loving beauty or loving Zhang Shan? Definitely is a beauty, from now on Emperor Yi will not come to court early. Fortunately, Master Yi also injected the serum. Your body looks great. It is strongly recommended that Ka and Yi's scenes be played more. Immediately afterwards, the scene that made CP fans even more ecstatic came. Yi Ling and Carter were flirting in the camp, and then they almost kissed each other. And in the barrage, there is also a unified barrage floating by. Fat sugar, hair sugar. Hi HHHH. Hurry up, head on team. However, at at the moment, according to the usual routine of the movie. Nima Rogers popped out. Joe. Captain America, you light bulb is messing with gods and demons. Ah. I'm almost kissing, this is very uncomfortable. 
Rogers, you are an atmosphere killer. Interestingly, though, just a few minutes into the movie, the audience saw Rogers and the blonde the United States girl's hair candy. Tears. My Captain America finally has someone to love. Poor Rogers, finally got him a blonde secretary. Looking at it this way, it's actually not bad. At least Captain America said goodbye to being single, congratulations. Bucky. And what about Bucky? Don't you all take Bucky in a relationship? At Bucky, both of your gay friends are gone. Hash Bucky status hash, refers to the status of a single dog. But when everyone was knocking on CP and eating dog food. Someone also made a different voice. By the way, didn't you realize that Master Yi disappeared for a whole day, where did he go? Yes, the movie has not given any explanation so far. Could it be that Master Yi is quietly brewing a big plan, planning to make a big one? It's like he injected super serum and became a super soldier without anyone knowing. And then give us a surprise. However, some see this as a surprise. Some people think that this is the birth of a conspiracy, a manifestation of Yi Ling Blacken. Especially on the internet. Actually, I think he should start Blacken. That's right, since the movie doesn't explain what he did. Then he probably did something shameful. Okay. You guys reminded me. I even think it was a bit abnormal for Yi to let go of Red Skull in the first place. He clearly has the strength to kill Red Skull, but let him go. Could it be that this guy has actually made some sort of deal with Red Skull? Thanks to me still liking him so much, it turns out that this guy has already joined Hydra. It looks like this, Yi has either joined forces with Red Skull, or he is going to monopolize Tesseract. And dominate the world. Sure enough, the people of the Dragon Kingdom are a huge amount of threat to the world. On how the ultimate villain was born. And for this kind of irrelevant, even wildly arrogant remarks. Naturally, there are domestic netizens who line up with them. Hee <laughs> hee, for people from a certain country, what did they frame a person for? Often they've done it themselves. Yes. One is dropping explosives in other countries all day long. The ones who also use drones to attack civilians and shoot defenseless children. But they shouted for freedom and justice all day long. Then they ran to other people's homes and crazily destroyed them. So who are the terrorists? Tisk tisk tisk, the world's policemen are well deserved, and they are so terrifying, it's making people fight. Oh, these people are just yelling and barking. I'm going to wait for Master Yi to slap them in the face again, turning them into dogs with broken spines. Ha 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 ha, Prime Minister Zub called you an expert, and gave you a thumbs up. It's messed up, it's all messed up. On a bullet screen on an extranet, everything was in chaos. People with different opinions spray each other in the dark. And Yi Ling, a person who traveled to the movie world. It is the root cause of all this. People don't know, but they look forward to the next development of the story. And what many people want to see is an American comics universe that has been turned upside down. Then congratulations, Yi Ling will do as they wish. Roger's special operations team is officially established. A group of seven people, like a sharp knife, penetrated deeply into every vital point of Hydra. And as the vanguard of the Allied forces, he has been active in every corner of the battlefield. Reversing the situation one after another. Their pictures and their names have made the headlines countless times. And this newspaper not only became the number one circulation list in the United States. He even came to the Dragon Kingdom on the other side of the ocean with ships and planes. At this time, the Dragon Kingdom is still fighting an arduous and tenacious struggle against the fascist imperialism. When they knew that there was such a person from the Dragon Kingdom active on the other side of the earth. They are inspired. Feel very proud too. In Poland, 30 miles from the border. This is one of the sub-bases of Hydra. Yi Ling is wearing a tight black combat uniform, which complements his dark hair. And compared with Captain America Rogers, who was dressed in blue and red Baixiang and was carrying a metal buckler. That's really not loud enough. Definitely slightly, so there will be fewer bullets shot at him. Take down that firepower point. Yi, let's go together. Rogers shouted to Yi Ling who was not far from his upper body. And Yi Ling is holding a captured Hydra energy weapon. Raising his hand was a shot, and accurately killed the hostile snipers on the roof. Clear. He called Captain America back. Immediately afterwards, only the two of them began to accelerate. After all, 
both of them are now recognized as, super soldiers, in the Allied forces. As for the identity of a super soldier, Yi Ling took a trick. I asked Dr. Erskine to help him hide it and make it up. Dr. Erskine has no objection to this, after all, Yi Ling is the benefactor who saved him three times, oh, four times. What is the feeling of two super fighters appearing on a battlefield at the same time? I saw Yi Ling and Rogers running wildly on the battlefield. Almost no enemy can target them. All the bullets seem to go around them. Definitely, the two of them will not be so stupid as to be beaten by the enemy ahead of schedule. Sensitive and changeable action trajectory can always confuse the enemy. And it's still, unfathomable, in the physical sense. Roger's flying shield came out of his hand and bounced between the three Hydra soldiers, smashing their heads. Then there is Yi Ling's amazing marksmanship, not to mention one kill, it is common to get two or three shots in a row. They fully demonstrated what is called, the two of us are one army. Stabbing into the middle of the enemy's position is a massacre. After the two of them worked together to scrap three tanks, they finally took over the fire suppression point on the roof of the building. At the moment, the large army following them also pressed over. Until all the remnants of Hydra are wiped out. So when did war become so simple? Some soldiers ask themselves like this. Do not. War is never easy. It is only because of their existence that all this becomes seemingly simple. There are many special operations teams that cooperate with the main force to attack. But sometimes, the special operations team will also receive special combat missions. For example, they have found traces of Dr. Zola, the number two figure in Hydra. Ding. The mission starts. Dr. Zola is captured. HYDRA's bases were destroyed one after another, making Red Skull's plan to conquer the world go bankrupt. And now, Red Skull is already planning to make a last-ditch effort. Dr. Zola is the key to this. I hope that when you catch Zola, everything is still in time. Complete the task, you can get a reward. 3000 Awakening Value. At this time, the system task prompt appeared suddenly. Let Yi Ling know that his final battle with Red Skull is not far away. You keep failing. Standing on top of the ruins, Red Skull roared angrily at Dr. Zola, who was much shorter than him. My plan to conquer the whole world is about to succeed. Now I keep pushing and pushing. And it's all because you can't handle that idiot with a shield, and, that man. Sweat was beating on Dr. Zola's forehead. Though he'd love to pay Red Skull back. You can't even deal with that surname Yi yourself, and you still ask me to ask Xingqi. Do we honest people deserve to be bullied by a red-skinned bully like you? Definitely, he didn't dare, he could only complain in his heart. So Dr. Zola had no choice but to say bitterly. That's not my specialty. I only invent weapons. I can't even use it. Red Skull was so angry that his face was bleeding. Although there is no real blood, no one can tell. But he couldn't kill this confidant with a single shot. If he collapsed directly, his great and evil plan would be completely bankrupt. Do your part, Zora. It seems that the plan must be advanced. Crack. Red Skull raised his head with an energy gun and killed a subordinate who was not doing his job well. The subordinate didn't even have time to say a word in defense. Dr. Zola trembled. The screen jumps to the top of the snow-covered mountain. Remember when the three of us were at Coney Island? I forced you two cowards to play whirlwind. Bucky looked at the railway track on the edge of the canyon in the distance, and spoke. Rogers frowned and replied with a sigh. Remember, I threw up. Yi Ling laughed and said. I threw up too. Although the current atmosphere should not be funny at all. After all, the few members of their team were standing on the top of a cold, windy, snow-capped cliff. And the next thing to do is to follow the cable around you and jump on the coming train. The big boss in the team reminded with a radio. Your information is correct, Dr. Zola is on the train. The Hydra guys told him to open the throttle. Not long after that, the observer mustache also put down the binoculars. They are here, as if rushing to reincarnate. I think we have to act fast. Finally, someone reminded me. We only have a gap of 10 seconds, get ready. Stimulate. It can only be said to be extremely exciting. With the Hydra train that is comparable to a high-speed rail approaching. The team grabbed the sliding pole and jumped off the cliff one by one. Swish. 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 
As long as there is a slight error, the one falling into the abyss will be beyond redemption. But they all manage to slip to the top of the train. It can only be said that everyone is not an idle person, otherwise, they would have received box lunches in the previous battles. The big three of Brooklyn entered the train together. Rogers walks ahead with shield and pistol, Bucky and Yiling behind. It can be seen that all the trains are loaded with extremely dangerous energy weapons. It's just a little weird that there is no enemy guarding this carriage. Could it be that, this is a trap? Careful. Rogers yelled. Then the partition door of the compartment suddenly fell down. Separate him from Yi Ling and Bucky. I saw a Hydra soldier wearing special equipment all over his body. Holding two energy weapons that are only stronger than Gatling but not weaker, it looks like a super soldier. Fire suddenly. Rogers rolled away in an instant. The metal inner wall of the train was hit and left a huge dent. It is conceivable that if this thing hits a person, even Roger's physique will be hard to resist. On the other side of the carriage, Yiling and Bucky had to face each other much better. Just a few ordinary miscellaneous fish soldiers. Bucky carried Thompson to suppress it with firepower, and Yiling rushed to him. He punched the weapon box on the platform, and the box slid forward, hitting a person to finish him off. Then he quickly broke through to the front of several other people. Before the enemy could shoot, he thrust out several punches. With huge amounts of strength, several people hit the inner wall of the train and bounced back. The miscellaneous soldiers were lying on the ground, motionless, unable to get up again. For Yi Ling, it's not much different from playing 3D pinball. But at this moment, there was another loud noise. Bang. Boom. They turned their heads and saw that Rogers, who was holding a shield, was sent flying by the super soldiers. After that, huge amounts of energy cannons are ejected through the shield and hit the weakest part of the inner wall of the train. Therefore, the carriage directly cracked open. And Roger's shield was also shaken out of his hands. But at the moment, the super soldier is also ready for a second shot. Seeing this, Bucky rushed forward without any fear, and picked up the shield of Captain America. Bang! Boom! The super soldier's energy cannon fired. A mass of bright blue energy flew out. At the moment Bucky held up his shield and stood in front of Rogers and Yi Ling. If there were no accidents, then Bucky would definitely be blown away by this energy cannon. And the audience will once again witness the life and death of Rogers and Bucky. However, by accident, that's definitely a must. Because Yi Ling is that accident. Yi Ling's speed exploded in an instant, and before even Rogers could react, he was already standing behind Bucky. Then reach out a hand and help Bucky hold Captain America's shield in his hand. Boom. Huge amounts of energy blast hit shield. But this time, the person behind the shield was as majestic as a mountain, completely motionless. Bucky. To be honest, Bucky didn't know why he did such a crazy thing. But at that moment, there was no room for him to think. He only knew that if no one raised the shield to block this attack. Then it's not just him, maybe everyone is in danger. Although he also knew that the intensity of this energy shock, even Rogers couldn't resist it head on. However, he has been able to prepare. No matter what the consequences are. When the explosion sounded in my ears. Bucky froze for a few seconds. Then slowly opened his eyes, and saw the other hand on the shield. It's Yi Ling. At this moment, Bucky fully realized what the power of a teammate is. He even suddenly had a feeling. That is, as long as Yi Ling is there, nothing will be a problem. I am so lucky to have such a reliable and powerful companion. Seeing that the two of them were unharmed, Rogers breathed a sigh of relief. Although he was also surprised at Yi Ling's speed in his heart. Even he himself didn't react. I just caught a glimpse of an afterimage flashing by. But there was not enough time for him to think more. Rogers took advantage of the interval between the super soldier firing the second energy cannon and picked up the Thompson that Bucky had just dropped on the ground. Then pull the trigger. Directly empties a magazine of bullets. The super soldier was also hit by the energy pipeline extending from his back with his precise marksmanship. Immediately, boom. There was an explosion and turned into a pile of scrap iron. Under the tacit cooperation of the Brooklyn Big Three. All crises are resolved one by one. The task was also successfully completed. They've captured Red Skull's henchman, Hydra's vital figure, Dr. Zola. With Dr. Zola, 
Yi Ling at the moment has returned to the base of the United States with the Special Operations Team. Ding. Mission completed. Capture Dr. Zola. You and your companion caught Dr. Zola on the speeding train. Obviously, Dr. Zola chose to take the risk of leaving the fortress because he had a mission in hand. So being able to catch him is definitely a great achievement. Congratulations to the host for getting the Awakening Value Reward, 3000. Before, the promotion to Tier 2 cost him 9,500 Awakening Points. And now, he has received a reward of 3,000, so the balance is 13,460 left. However, Yi Ling at the moment did not have the feeling of getting rich before the upgrade. Why? Because you can know it by looking at the property panel. Name. Yi Ling. Gender. Male. Race. Human. Superman. Kryptonian. Energy level. Extraordinary level. Second level. 2238. 500 thousandths. Attributes. Strength. 152 affects the strength of the body's physiological systems including muscles, bones, and neural networks. Agility. 152 affects the sensitivity of the body's neural network and reflex activities, making the body more rapid, accurate, and coordinated. Physical strength. 152 affects the stability of the body's morphological structure and functional activities, as well as the ability to adapt to the external environment. Intelligence. 152 affects cognition, thinking, memory, analysis, and resilience dominated by mental power. Note, the average value of each attribute of an ordinary adult male is constant at 10. Bloodline ability. Energy absorption, extraordinary physique, fighting instinct. Insight into subtleties, keen thinking, language proficiency. Anti-gravity flight, creature stance. Awakening value balance 13,460. After being promoted to the second rank, Yi Ling looked at his, experience bar. It can only be a shit. Upgrading to the third level of the extraordinary requires 500,000 awakening points. That's a full 50 times increase. Looking at it this way, can his balance of 13,000 be considered rich? As for the promotion to the third rank, it seems that it is not something that can be achieved in a short time. But now that Yi Ling was holding 13,000 in his hand, he suddenly had an idea. Could it be put on another investment? Anyway, there will be no hope of upgrading for a while. If you go to buy the Awakening Value Treasure Box and come to a 10 consecutive draw, will your character explode again? Ever since, Yi Ling turned on the system. He shifted his gaze to the Awakening Value Treasure Chest column. Awakening Value Chest Price 1000 Awakening Value Unlimited Supply. All kinds of weapons, equipment, props, bloodline abilities can be issued. Grade ranging from D to SSS. The probability of getting D grade items is 100%, the probability of C grade items is 10%, B grade. Note, if you buy 10 treasure chests at one time, you will get one as a gift. May I ask if the host spent 10,000 awakening value to buy 10 treasure chests? Yi Ling is not the kind of indecisive person. So he immediately replied, yes, bye. Ding. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 11 awakening treasure chests. At this time, I don't know why. Yi Ling suddenly felt an inexplicable satisfaction and huge amounts of anticipation. This is simply the fill money experience of playing mobile games in my previous life. Nima worked hard to save tickets for 10 consecutive rounds, and then decided to buy them in one go. Seeing the amount in the upper right corner being emptied, I felt a pain in the flesh at first. But then, he put all his attention and expectations on the box. Freeze your hands, prepare to freeze your hands. Yi Ling rubbed his palm subconsciously. If it was in the past, he might have to do some, good work, to increase the metaphysics explosion rate. But now he has lost that naivety. After all, Zon does not save Fei, and Krypton does not change his fate. Everyone opens the box differently. Some people like to open it all at once, and some people think that it is authentic to come one after another. Yi Ling is the former, because the old saying is good, long-term pain is worse than short-term pain, early opening and early detachment. Eleven bursts, open it for me. Immediately, Yi Ling shouted from the bottom of his heart. Ding. Congratulations to the host, the following items have been obtained. Level D. M1911 semi-automatic pistol, never worn out, power plus 150%. Rank 
Level D. A brand new M1 helmet, defense value plus 200%. Level D. Super capacity military kettle, water storage capacity plus 500%. Grade D. An exquisite pocket watch with a picture of Peggy Carter, never worn. Grade D. Tony Stark's Global Limited Edition Titanium Alloy Frame Glasses, never worn out. Grade D. Wolverine's same style hero sweatshirt, never worn. Level D. Black trousers of the same style as Dr. Banner, never worn. Grade D. A glass of Asgard Thunder Pure Spirits, 2L. Level D. Brand new Deadpool tight suit. Class C. A pair of multi-function web shooters from the good neighbor Spider-Man. Level B. One shield electronic intrusion device. Yi Ling looked solemnly at the goods he drew out in 11 consecutive rounds. As expected, not to mention S rank, not even A rank. However, at least one C-level item and one B-level item were issued. Obviously, the case was dark, but not completely black. A bunch of D-level plus C-level and B-level, it's not bad. However, he felt that the semi-automatic pistol, M1 helmet, and even the large-capacity military water bottle at the beginning were acceptable. But then, what happened to a bunch of, souvenirs? Not to mention the pocket watch with Carter's photo on it, but fortunately it is Carter. If it were any other woman, he would not dare to bring it with him. But what next? Tony's glasses frames. It's useful to me, and I'm not short-sighted and need glasses. Wolverine's hero undershirt. What a joke. Still never wears out. As for Dr. Banner's black trousers. Yi Ling won't bloat. Asgard's spirits. Yi Ling is not an alcoholic. New Deadpool suits and web shooters. The system wants him to cause the spider Deadpool who can spin silk. But web shooters are something, it's kind of useful. And finally there's the only B-class item, SHIELD's electronic hacking device. It is said that this is World War II now, and invade Hydra with high-tech decades later. Don't you think it's a bit overkill, killing a chicken with a sledgehammer? Besides, does Hydra still need to invade? Just smash them all, or burn them all. Yi Ling can only comfort himself now. Although these things are useless now, it doesn't mean they won't be useful in the future. Just throw the unnecessary ones in the system space, since they don't take up space anyway. Immediately, Yi Ling took out the M1911 semi-automatic pistol that never wears out. Replaced his previous gun. As for the super defensive M1 helmet, take it out too. Even though he hardly ever wears it, it's a good gift for someone else. As for this military kettle with an ordinary appearance but a large internal capacity. Just take it with you, after all, it's almost as good as a magic pocket in a way. Then, Yi Ling also took out the pocket watch with Carter's face on it. Let's talk about the rest when it comes in handy. During this time, the relationship between Yi Ling and Carter went a little bit wrong. In fact, it should be said that what happened after Yi Ling teamed up with Dr. Erskine to disclose his identity as a super soldier. Yi Ling can understand what kind of mood Carter is in. After all, for Carter, the injection of strengthening serum was not discussed with her. She conducted an experiment with the doctor without authorization, which really made her feel uncomfortable. And the reason why she reacted so strongly was actually because of the problem of super serum originally. Dr. Erskine isn't dead, and plans to mass-produce the Super Soldier continue. But the problem is that even so, the United States did not create a large number of Super Soldiers to go to war. The reason, of course, is that there are still problems with the safety and stability of strengthening serum. Not everyone is suitable for Super Serum injections. Some test subjects either went crazy or became bloodthirsty after being injected with Super Serum. There are even some direct physical distortions. So, in that sense, Rogers is lucky. This is the consensus of all people now. Therefore, Carter's worries about Yi Ling are still justified. Even though in reality, Yi Ling didn't have that bang thing at all. The United States is an underground base of the Ministry of Strategic Science. Dr. Zola's interrogation is over. And the intelligence that was asked from his mouth showed. Red Skull is indeed brewing a big plan, a big conspiracy. Howard was also present. As a strategic research consultant, he said. John Schmidt's ability is beyond our imagination. He can level the entire East Coast in an hour just by crossing the Atlantic. Someone asked. 
So how much time do we have left? Colonel Phillips, who was in charge of military operations, replied. According to the intelligence of our new friend. Less than 48 hours left. Rogers looked serious. And where is John Schmidt now? Colonel replied. The last base of Hydra. The Alps, 500 feet below the surface. The rest of the special operations team spoke. So well defended, the last bastion of Hydra. How do we break it? You can't directly charge towards their gate. But at the moment, Yi Ling stood up. Nice idea. It's a bit bold, but I like it very much. Don't be in a hurry to deny it. I mean, the one who should invade through the gate is me. And Captain Rogers, you lead the rest of the team around. After listening to Yi Ling's detailed explanation, Rogers was the first to object. In other words, he thought he should be the bait. But this was denied by Yi Ling. Because Yi Ling told them that he was the one who fought John Schmidt. I am the thorn in the side, the thorn in the flesh of that red skull devil. Bucky can testify to that. And Bucky is a mutual friend of the two. Now being caught in the middle, he can only tell the truth. Therefore, the battle plan was finally finalized. Yi Ling alone became a bait to attract a large number of enemy troops in the front. Captain Rogers led the other team members to break through from the back hill. In the end, the inside should cooperate with the outside to completely break through the fortress. After the combat meeting, most of the personnel left. Now it was just Yi Ling, and Peggy Carter on the other side of the table. Both were silent. Until Yi Ling got up first, walked over, and leaned against the table. Peggy, aren't you going to say something? Let's talk about dinner tonight. I know an old place in Brooklyn. It can be said that I have been growing up since I was a child. Carter finally couldn't bear it anymore, and stood up with a bang. Okay. Stop talking. The task will start tomorrow, but now you are telling me which restaurant to go to for dinner. Do you know what you're about to face? That's an entire army. Do you think this kind of joke about life is very interesting? Carter's eyes were red, looking like she was about to cry. Seeing her like this, Yi Ling couldn't help but soften his heart. He took her hand, approached her, and said. But you know, such a thing must be done by someone, right? If I don't go, then Rogers will go. If Rogers can't go, Bucky will go. Actually, I've heard a saying. The greater the ability, the greater the responsibility. Carter suddenly threw herself into Yi Ling's arms. Her shoulders shrugged involuntarily, and she even began to cry softly. Sorry, I shouldn't have treated you like this these days. Don't blame me, okay. Yi Ling supported Fukata's head. Fool, when have I ever blamed you? So, is your unilateral cold war against me over? At first, I thought that I should give you a gift to calm you down. Keita raised her head, tears still hanging from the corners of her eyes. A gift. Then you're not going to give it to me. Yi Ling didn't say much, just smiled. Then he took out the pocket watch and put it in her hand. Carter snorted softly and opened it carefully. Then, not knowing whether to cry or laugh, she said. Who put someone else's photo in a pocket watch as a gift? Do you want me to see myself every time I open it? I'm not so narcissistic at all, okay. Yi Ling shrugged. Maybe you should replace the photo with me. Or us. I've already made up my mind, when I come back from this battle. Kokate stood on tiptoe before he could finish speaking. He blocked his next words with a kiss. After that, he opened his mouth softly. You're such a bad guy. The bad guy who makes me miss you all the time. Dot dot dot. So, it's bound to be a sleepless night, right? The combination of Mei and Yi makes it easy to work. This is a carnival for fans of Captain America and Yi Ling CP. Look at the way the two of them cooperate seamlessly on the battlefield. All I can say is that they are a match made in heaven. I'm afraid the upstairs didn't use the wrong word. The description is so annoying. It's not harmonious. But no matter what, the cooperation between Yi Ling and Captain America on the battlefield is really wonderful. The two of them are an army. Although I think which one of them can be singled out alone, it can also be alone. The shrimp soldiers and crab generals of Hydra, in front of the two of them, are simply younger brothers who just give away experience. The younger brother Hydra, the king of younger brothers Red Skull, Zora is the one who takes the blame, ha 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 ha. I was so quickly laughed to death by Red Skull, the king of younger brothers. 
I pulled a group by myself and blamed Zola. Zola was so angry that she didn't dare to complain, so she just dared to be wronged and said that she was just an inventor, what a joke. I'm afraid these two guys are not purely talking about crosstalk, but also conquering the world. Let's conquer the crosstalk world first. Guo de Gang, Teacher Yu Qian. Get the hell out of here. Wait for Bo Mei and Yi to cooperate with doubles and beat Red Skull violently. At the moment's barrage, it's rare to see fans of Yi Ling and Captain America surprisingly united. Can you believe that they didn't continue to spray each other? Definitely, everyone understands it, it's just because they have a common spray point at present. And as the film continues, the audience knows. The plot is about to reach a major juncture. That's, Death of Bucky. According to the original movie, Bucky will fall off the cliff here, and his life and death are unknown. According to the, Captain America, two inches released later, it can be known. Bucky did not die, but was picked up, brainwashed and transformed by Hydra. In the end, he worked for Hydra as the Winter Soldier. So next, how will the plot develop? Some people think that the situation is nothing more than Bucky falling, business as usual. Either because of Yi Ling, Bucky was saved. Or, Yi Ling sacrificed himself to save Bucky. So at this moment, the audience in front of the movie screen, especially Yi Fen, couldn't help but raise their hearts. Until the plot continued, the camera showed the Hydra super soldier who was firing. At this moment, the camera is presented in an extremely slow way of expression. The bright blue energy cannon slowly flew in the air. Everything around seems to be still because of this. Captain America Rogers can be seen lying on the ground, looking back at Bucky holding up the shield. His eyes were full of desperation because he thought he was going to lose Bucky. But his body couldn't keep up with his mind trying to save Bucky. Then the camera came to Bucky, Bucky lifted the shield, his teeth were clenched, and he even closed his eyes involuntarily. It seems that they are waiting for the fate to come. Until this time, the camera panned to Yi Ling at the farthest position. Yi Ling's face was expressionless. Like he doesn't care if Bucky lives or dies. Or, in fact, he has full confidence in saving Bucky. The next moment, Yi Ling moved, his half-squatting body actually moved. In this almost static picture, he stood up. At the moment, the whole world. It seems that only the energy cannon flying in midair, and Yi Ling, have life. He took a step forward and put forward a running posture. His speed was not slower than that energy cannon at all. And at this moment, on the movie screen, there was a large blank barrage again. Until a bullet screen floated, my god. Is he the Flash? In the next second, bang, boom. The movie world has returned to its original normal speed. Intense energy explosions flashed before the eyes of the audience. Then, there are two people standing like a mountain. Unscathed. Oh. My. God. I got a big grass. Oh. H. 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 Yi. He took the energy cannon. Yi. Yes. 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 The barrage has almost completely obscured the movie. For a while, people's brains seemed unable to accept a supermodel level performance like Yi Ling's. My mother, you told me that this is called a super soldier. Where's Rogers? Rogers was shot. Hashtag Rogers state hash, means very confused. My god, how many strengthening serums did Master Yi use? Is this a problem with the serum? This frankly directly opened up Ren Du's second channel, King Kong is not broken. 2 2, 2, you're so big. This frankly opens the gene lock directly. Evolution, invincible. Captain America said. I'm still playing Nima. Doctor, are you playing with me, did you inject me with expired serum? Don't talk about it, the second generation ultimate warrior serum injected by Yi Ling. Second generation. Nima bullied me for not watching Marvel, right? Every time Yi Ling makes a shot. It will make the audience feel what a new version is. A more explosive experience. More explosive visual impact. This is already completely regarded as the performance of the first-line superhero movie in the Marvel Universe, okay. Who can say that he is not the protagonist? And the plot has progressed to the present, and all audiences know that the movie is coming to the end. I also look forward to how Yi Ling will fight Red Skull in the end. Definitely, it's better not to be that kind. Red Skull got up and was punched by Yi Ling for a second, so there's nothing to say. That would be too boring. 
Then, the movie comes to the pre-battle meeting of the final battle. And the audience also passed through other scenes of the movie before. Knowing that the relationship between Yi Ling and Carter has changed now. At first, some people thought that this must be a precursor to the breakup between Yi Ling and Carter. Then Captain America will definitely take the opportunity to get the favor of Carter, and finally even sit on two beauties at the same time. But the next progress was slapped in the face. Haven't you ever seen a young couple quarrel? When people start a cold war, they say that others want to break up. In matters of relationship, it's normal to have bumps and bumps, okay. Afterwards, Yi Ling took out his pocket watch and gave it to Carter. Those people can finally shut up. Because Carter also took the initiative to kiss Yi Ling, and this kiss was very long. It's just that Yi Ling's unfinished sentence left the audience at a loss. I've already made up my mind, I'll come back after this battle. Brother Yi, don't want it, what kind of flag are you setting up indiscriminately? Fortunately, Carter stopped him in time. I'll go. Then Master Yi's flag is established or not. It's up, but it's not fully up. It's over, it's over, I'm afraid Master Yi will never return this time. So the person who was finally sunk into the bottom of the sea and completely separated from Carter was Master Yi, right? I have a bad feeling. Tears in advance. The battle has begun. Yi Ling borrowed a motorcycle from Rogers. Then proceed as planned. He rushed directly to the enemy camp alone. Enemies everywhere, here are not only piles of Hydra soldiers equipped with energy weapons. There are also a huge amount of anti-aircraft energy cannons, energy tanks, and energy defense fortresses. And when the Hydra soldiers looked at this person in front of them. Driving towards them alone on a motorcycle. I was stunned for a while. What the hell? Where did this lunatic come from? Is he really the only one? Or, is this a trap? Trap? No no no. It takes a broken brain to think this is a trap. Shouldn't we set the trap or something? And who the hell has seen a, trap, with long legs and can run by himself on a motorcycle? But despite seeing such an absurd scene, the Hydra soldiers were not complacent. Fire. Shoot that man down. A battlefield commander shouted. The next moment, the soldiers pulled the trigger after the position was defended against the concrete barrier. Whoosh whoosh, bang bang bang. All of a sudden, raindrops of ordinary bullets mixed with energy weapons poured down. However, Yi Ling didn't care about it at all, he tightened the accelerator and blasted the horsepower to the maximum. And swinging the head of the motorcycle, looking for, loopholes, in this hail of bullets. It was simply unbelievable, according to the soldiers of Hydra. This crazy biker is as slippery as a catfish. Almost all of their attacks were dodged. Until a Hydra soldier pulled the trigger in his hand. Boom. Hit. I shot that madman. The Hydra soldier saw his own bullet hit Yi Ling's chest. He shouted happily to the people around him. However, the officer next to him who was shooting with an energy pistol shouted. I got hit by fool. If you get shot, that foe can still ride on the car. The Hydra soldier turned his head in amazement. Yi Ling was still riding steadily on the motorcycle, without any sign of injury. And at the moment, Yi Ling has broken through Hydra's first line of defense. Even when crossing the trenches on both sides, he did not forget to drop two high explosive bombs into the trenches. Boom. Boom. Dozens of Hydra soldiers were directly blown into trapeze. Thanks to Hydra, every time Yi Ling destroys their base, they can always capture many energy weapons. Is this the so-called, no guns, no cannons, the enemy made it for us. Retreat. The defensive line retreats. Send out the energy tanks. We can't let that lunatic go any further. If it fails again, Master Schmidt will definitely kill me. All energy tanks are activated. And just to kill a lunatic riding a motorcycle on the battlefield. This is simply equivalent to carrying a cannon to beat mosquitoes. It's incredible. But now, the commanding officer couldn't care less. Boom boom boom. A round of tank salvos leveled the second line of defense almost instantly. Even many Hydra soldiers were killed on the spot. The thick smoke and dust on the battlefield slowly dissipated. And that annoying motorcycle roar is gone. Ha ha ha. We killed that lunatic. HMPH, I think my lord will reward me. Although, this also caused us a small loss. The commander looked at the messy second line of defense. 
One foot stepped on the ammunition box, and that made a smiley face, triumphant. Bah, bah. Steve wouldn't kill me if he knew that I was riding his motorcycle like a bird. Hey guys, these fools are too fierce. Nima, I don't remember the movie acting like this. No, Steve breaks through the defense in the movie, it's a relief. It stands to reason that there shouldn't be so many enemies. Yi Ling lay on the ground, scraping away the dirt covering his body. In fact, Hydra has added so many heavy firepower defense measures, which is more defensive than the original plot. The reason is because of Yi Ling himself. Because now the Allies have more than Rogers is the captain of the United States. Two super fighters are active on the battlefield at the same time. In Red Skull, the leader of Hydra, is also very afraid of Yi Ling. So it makes sense to pile up defense and pile up firepower in the lair. Why don't I pretend? Is my 150 plus strength just for nothing? It's time for these fools to have a good taste of Lao Tzu's iron fist of justice. Yi Ling was a little angry. After all, whoever was fired upon by a group of tanks and was almost buried, how could he be in a better mood? Then, Yi Ling bent down slightly. Boom. A puff of dust and smoke spread from under his feet, and Yi Ling rose straight from the ground. However, he didn't fly too high, but directly fell in midair towards the tank group on the third line of defense. As far as Nima is outrageous, this is simply a frantic battle. Boom. Yi Ling hit the ground, still a standard hero landing. The ground under his feet cracked, and clods and stones exploded in all directions. Even a few tanks that got too close were overturned by shockwave. Gah! The commander of Hydra just laughed wildly. But at this second, it stopped abruptly, and a mouthful of old phlegm was directly stuck in his throat. Tanks, right. Boom. I saw Yi Ling punching the tank on the right hand so that it twisted and rolled over. Cannon, right. Click. Yi Ling jumped onto a tank and yanked the turret off. Then he threw it out, killing a group of miscellaneous soldiers in an instant. A small loss, isn't it? Just pretend I didn't hear it. Come on. I'll show you a big baby. Yi Ling pulled over a tank and looked at the commander. Call. I saw the tank draw an arc in midair and flew over. The Hydra army begins to crumble. After all, he witnessed such a humanoid monster with his own eyes. It's hitting the tank again, and smashing the turret, how the hell are you going to fight? Even the commander has been crushed into meatloaf, why don't you run and wait to die? Yi Ling at the moment didn't bother to chase these miscellaneous soldiers anymore. Because he has only two targets now, Red Skull and Cosmic Cube. Yi Ling kicked a gap in the metal gate of the base. At this time, he also heard movement from the base. Yes, the rear team led by Rogers has also exchanged fire with Hydra. He rushed in immediately. After a while, I saw the members of the special operations team. He opened his mouth and asked. Where's the captain? And what about the Red Skull? The team member replied. The captain chased to the tarmac. That giant plane is about to take off. Yi Ling patted him on the shoulder, and then chased after him. Then I heard the team member behind me wondering. Why didn't our big troops follow in? Wong de fake. Why is there a hole in the gate? Where's the allies? Where's Hydra? Gift crab. Red Skull a super giant bomber built with all the resources of Hydra. It is also equipped with eight nuclear level energy super weapons. It must be powered by the cosmic cube. Otherwise, with the current level of technology. There simply isn't any engine capable of lifting this behemoth into the sky. And the goal of Red Skull is also obvious. That is to fly this plane and travel around the world for a week. Blast the other hostile countries in the world one by one. I have to say, if Red Skull really succeeds. Then the whole world will probably tremble under the threat of Red Skull's force. So Yi Ling, Rogers, what they need to do is to stop this from happening. It's just what Yi Ling didn't expect. Red Skull boarded the plane much earlier. Could it be, is it because his performance just now was too scary? Scared the Red Skull guy into getting on the plane early and getting out. But luckily, Rogers was there. Rogers has already caught up, and he must be able to hold on for a while. And with Yi Ling's speed referring to flight, so what if the plane takes off? So when Yi Ling rampaged through the tunnel, sweeping through a bunch of Hydra soldiers like a humanoid bulldozer. He successfully arrived at the parking lot. And at the moment, the big guy that looked like a B-2 bomber was already galloping on the running track. 
Yi Ling also started to run and accelerate, and then he stepped hard and jumped onto the landing gear of the plane. As the landing gear of the plane was raised, Yi Ling also successfully entered the cabin of the plane. Then Yi Ling saw Rogers at a glance. This guy is wielding a shield, meleeing with a large group of Hydra soldiers. The number of enemies has inexplicably increased again. Red Skull seemed to have expected Rogers and Yi Ling to invade from the cabin. There are a large number of heavily armed soldiers here, and this is to consume them alive here. Hydra soldiers do not use energy weapons, not even normal weapons. Yi Ling glanced around and understood. What's amazing here is the cabin loaded with eight energy super weapons. Who the hell dares to open fire casually? Let's not talk about this kind of super military instability made by the energy extracted from the cosmic cube. But even ordinary bullets can't detonate, so it's safe. So what if the wiring inside is damaged by a single shot? When the time comes, the weapon will fail immediately and the crisis will be resolved. Red Skull will have no place to cry if he wants to. It is no wonder that these Hydra will choose crowd tactics. But now, fortunately, Yi Ling is here. Rogers is no longer alone. Yi Ling smashed the armor of a heavily armored soldier with one punch. The powerful force directly penetrated this guy's body. Although he didn't see any external injuries, his internal organs had long been shattered by the punch. If you want to resist Yi Ling's fist, unless the heavy armor of these soldiers can be thicker than that of the tank. Do not. Even if there is, it's just another punch. I saw Yi Ling walking forward step by step. Hydra heavy armored soldiers punched him with fists and bangs. But when it fell on him, it was like hitting a substance harder than steel, and he remained unmoved. Yi Ling quickly eliminated these road blockers with one punch at a time. In no time, he was clearing a passage to the upper deck of the plane. But at this moment, the bombing compartment of the engine room opened. It appears that Red Skull has seen what's going on here through the monitors. He knew that if he didn't take action, his plan would go bankrupt. Every energy super weapon is actually a small controllable pilot aircraft. Two Hydra pilots were seen scurrying into the cockpit. There is no doubt that this is exactly the same as the crazy death squad of an island country. If you enter it, you are doomed to never return. But at this moment, Yi Ling seemed to remember something. He opened his mouth and called out to Rogers. Steve, leave this to me. You stop Red Skull. Rogers looked back and saw the road that had been cleared by Yi Ling. He also knew that in the face of hard power, Yi Ling was indeed much stronger than himself. At least he couldn't kill a whole group of heavily armed soldiers in such a short period of time. I see. I'll stop that fool. Rogers didn't say much more either. He rushed past Yi Ling and climbed onto the upper deck of the plane. And the remaining group of heavily armed soldiers behind him also followed. At the moment, Yi Ling had already seen two super weapons leave the cabin. It's time to send you gangsters to hell. Yi Ling clenched his fists and rushed. Not only did they kill a whole team of heavily armed soldiers. It even directly broke through the cabin wall of the plane and came out of the plane. With his vision, he instantly locked onto the super weapon that was gradually flying away below. Then Yi Ling put his limbs together and clinging to his side, and rushed towards a human-shaped sharp arrow. The driver was startled in the next second, and when he turned his head, he saw a figure sticking close to him outside the window. Without saying a word, Yi Ling reached out and penetrated the glass cover, dragged the screaming driver out and threw it away. He didn't choose to simply destroy the superweapon that had been converted into an airplane. Instead, he took out an item from his body. Shield electronic hacking device. I thought the previous 10,000 point lottery was in vain. But now it seems that these 10,000 points are too worthwhile. And what he has to do is not to stop the launch of Chowu, but to change the target location. Just let me do what every dragon country person wants to do. If the country hates the family, it must be reported at the moment. The redoubt made by him. I will do what I say. With electronic hacking devices in effect. The plane loaded with super weapons enters the automatic cruise mode, and the target is confirmed. He then found a second superweapon in the air, and did the same. After finishing all this, Yi Ling even felt that this life is enough. But now, he still has one last thing to do. That's to kill the Red Skull and get the Cosmic Cube. Rogers, half kneeling on the ground, spat out a mouthful of blood. 
This is his first time facing the leader of Hydra, John Schmidt. This nickname is known as the Red Skull's Demon. The strength of Red Skull has already exceeded his imagination. Nearly three meters tall, with red muscles all over his body, he looked like a humanoid Tyrannosaurus Rex. He he he, kid in tights. You are not my opponent at all, so I am still waiting for him. I have to say, that guy Erskine is a genius. In the end, I have to thank you all for protecting him for me. Otherwise, how could I get such a perfect super serum from you guys? Power. This power surpasses mortals and is like a god. And I will soon become the god who dominates all of this. The current Red Skull has become a more powerful version of Red Skull. And it was Yi Ling who made Red Skull become like this. If Yi Ling hadn't saved Dr. Erskine in the first place, then it is impossible for the Super Soldier Serum to be further developed. If Yi Ling hadn't stopped the assassination one after another, then Hydra will not settle for less. I can't kill your people, so let's snatch your serum. All of this follows a causal cycle. Dumbfounded, completely dumbfounded. When the audience saw this scene with Barrage, the shock in their hearts was beyond words. Not only because of the larger number of enemies in the movie than in the original plot. What's more, Yi Ling's next operation simply subverted everyone's imagination of the movie, Captain America, 1. According to the original plot, it was Captain America Rogers who drew enemy fire from the front. Then the rest of the special operations team circled around and made a surprise attack. Then Rogers pretended to be invincible and was captured by Hydra. The cocky Red Skull thought Rogers was gone. Not only did they not execute him immediately, they even had people bring him to him. The purpose is to show off his evil plan that is about to be realized. It was as if Rogers was his life confidant. But in the end, Red Skull paid the price for his dementia. And now, everything is different. When Yi Ling was riding a motorcycle, he was carpet bombed by those energy tanks. The screen is full of question marks. How dare he? Nima, is this pretending to be explosive? Oh, was he killed by the bomb? No, logically speaking, Yi Ling is much stronger than Captain America. It's much stronger, but it doesn't mean it can withstand the bombardment of these artillery fire. Look at that Hydra commander, he's smiling so hard he can see his back molars. It's me, I'm laughing too. Yi Ling still wants to learn from Captain America. But he can't learn it well. Captain America's acting skills of pretending to surrender and being captured are not learned at all. Laughing to death, you can't die laughing at all. Charge yourself, and finally charge yourself away. Is this guy Yi Ling playing warrior? Follow me. Ah, there's no one left. Yi Ling has never had a lot of black fans. They always catch a chance like this and start to play monsters. However, just when they thought Yi Ling had been blasted to pieces by Hydra tanks. Yi Ling crawled out from the mound. And then, boom. He crushed the ground and jumped into the air. At the moment, the film's camera even switches to first-person mode. Did I take off? The audience didn't react for a while. Why did the camera suddenly cut into the air? Then, it fell rapidly again. I made a big hole. I'm afraid I'm going to fall to my death. But in the next second, boom. The hero lands on the stage. It hit the ground with a punch. Everything around them fell apart in this huge amounts of impact. Then, the first-person perspective is not over yet. The camera quickly zoomed in on a tank, and then a fist blasted out from the edge of the screen. I saw a huge dent suddenly appeared on the side armor of this tank. The next moment, it rolled and flew out like a bowling ball. Then the camera jumps to another tank. This time, what the audience saw was a pair of hands stretched out, hugging the gun barrel. Immediately, the entire tank turret was torn off. Is this a toy tank? At the same time, the audience also heard Yi Ling speak up. A tank, right. Cannon, huh. Come on, let me show you a big baby. This time, viewers can finally be sure. Now they're watching it all from Yi Ling's first-person perspective. It can only be said that it is too shocking. This is something no one expected. This immersive experience is as if the viewer has become a superhero himself. It makes people's blood flutter, and it's addictive. What is an immersive superhero experience? This is something the original film simply cannot match. It can only be said that the show operation of this movie is too awesome. The bullet screen ushered in another burst of boiling. What the hell did I go through? 
I just smashed a tank. I just kicked the tank like a ball. Tanks. They're all toy cars. Drip. A first-person perspective invincible experience card for Master Yi. It's simply invincible. I hope there will be more clips like this. I love it. I love it. Just push everything horizontally. Unbelievable. This is the correct way for a superhero to appear. Yi, he surprised us again. He is proving to us that he is the ceiling of this movie's combat power. There is no doubt that after the remake of this movie, it has reached a new height. Whether it's the plot of the characters, or the camera and special effects, they are all too shocking. At the moment, there are not many remaining progress bars for the movie. As Yi Ling boarded the plane, the audience began to look forward to the appearance of the final boss Red Skull. They didn't believe that the final decisive battle between the two would be worse than the battle they experienced just now. Immediately afterwards, Yi Ling dealt with a large number of heavily armored soldiers in the cabin. Let Rogers stop Red Skull first. At first, people couldn't figure out why. But Yi Ling's next move made all Dragon Kingdom fans stand up. What Yi Ling is going to do, not only conforms to the historical track, but also changes history. Two planes loaded with superweapons were diverted by Yi Ling. Although the film does not directly show where the final destination is. But I only heard Yi Ling say this sentence. The country hates the family feud, at the moment must be reported. The audience burst into tears, and all stood up. As long as you are from the Dragon Kingdom, you can understand everything. Pay tribute. Pay tribute. For the Dragon Kingdom. For the Chinese nation. The people of the Dragon Kingdom will surely rise. Pieces of red bullet screens brushed across. At the moment, the beliefs of all Dragon Kingdom fans are united. Yi Ling realizes that he is not a savior. He just did what every Dragon Country person would do in that situation. In the end, the boss Red Skull really lived up to expectations. All the audience were shocked. Is this Nima a juggernaut or a Red Hulk? Shouldn't the original Red Skull be a resourceful villain? When did he become such a red-skinned abomination? But Red Skull's next words made everyone understand. It turned out that this guy actually stole more serum from the Allies. Does Nima still have this kind of coquettish operation? This is the first time I've seen a villain with such an online IQ. Just imagine, how could the regular version of Captain America be the opponent of Hulk? Although the current Red Skull is indeed inferior to Hulk. But it was more than enough to beat Captain America. But just when Red Skull gleefully shot mouth escape at Rogers. Boom. Yi Ling smashed through the windshield of the plane and officially debuted. The decisive battle has arrived. I won't let you succeed. I can still spend the whole day with you. Call. I saw Rogers exhale a foul breath. Even though he's been puked bloody by Red Skull. But he still used the shield to support the ground, supporting his exhausted body and stood up again. What makes Captain America Rogers is that he will never kneel before any strong enemy. He he he, will it take a whole day? Unfortunately, it seems that you can't wait for your friend. Don't worry, I will send him down to meet you soon. Red Skull huge amounts of stature, walking towards Rogers step by step with terrifying pressure. However, at the moment, bam. Swish. The air in the cabin suddenly poured out of the cabin. Yi Ling crashed through the windshield of the plane. I heard someone said they were waiting for me. It seems that the time is just right, and I'm not late yet. Behind Red Skull, Yi Ling turned his head and looked at Rogers. And Rogers can finally breathe a sigh of relief. Immediately afterwards, Red Skull also turned around. Looking at Yi Ling, the uninvited guest who broke in through the window. He cracked the corner of his mouth, and spoke sinisterly and viciously. You finally came. I've waited too long for this moment. I said, I want to screw your head off with my own hands, ah. I saw Red Skull clenched his fists, let out a roar, and the muscles all over his body trembled. The enlarged black army coat on his body burst open. Good guy, the boss went berserk right after we just met. Did you take hormones? I haven't seen you for a few days, you are longer than the old sow raised by Roger's grandmother next door. I just don't know. This time, how many punches can you catch me? He he. As soon as Yi Ling opened his mouth, he was full of yin and yang. After all, angering the opponent and losing their minds can be regarded as a battle strategy. Then come and try. Who is the king? Boom. Red Skull bent his knees and gave a jerk. 
two huge footprints appeared directly on the steel plate ground under his feet. But people have already flown to Yi Ling. Seeing this scene, Rogers, who was completely ignored behind him, couldn't help but tremble from the corners of his eyes. It turns out that just now, this Red Skull has not used all its strength. I saw Red Skull swung his left fist and punched Yi Ling who was much shorter than him. And Yi Ling also slightly bent his knees, twisted his waist, and blasted out his right fist in the posture of a cannon fist. Boom. Just when the two fists collided, a strong air shock spread to the surroundings. Even the entire cabin was shaken and creaked, and the red fault alarm began to flash continuously. Rogers on the side almost lost his balance. From the bottom of my heart, it's called a shit. This is the rhythm of dismantling the plane directly. Feeling a strong tremor transmitted from the top of his fist. Red Skull's sunken eye sockets were full of incredible shock. What kind of steel did I hit with this punch? Could it be that the person standing in front of him really has a body of steel? Then next. Is it my turn? Yi Ling's voice sounded. Red Skull bows his head. Then I saw the fighting spirit on this man's face. No one knows that Yi Ling also possesses this rapidly growing power. But how boring and boring it is when there is no opponent worthy of doing our best. And at the moment, derived from the blood, the Kryptonian's fighting factor begins to take effect. In other words, such a powerful bloodline was born for war. Die to me. Just listen to Yi Ling shouting angrily. The right hand that had just punched turned into a claw, directly grabbing Red Skull's left arm. Immediately afterwards, his left fist blasted out. In the next second, Red Skull was pulled in front of him and was hit in the abdomen by the punch that tore through the air. Boom. Accompanied by a muffled sound and countless cracking sounds, Red Skull flew up. But the next moment, Yi Ling's figure disappeared in place. Second punch. Just above the Red Skull, Yi Ling punched down again. Boom. Boom. Red Skull's body does not follow the principles of physics to form a parabola. It was forcibly changed by Yi Ling's heavy punch directly. Falling from midair, he was blasted to the next level of the cabin. Watching Yi Ling floating in midair. Roger's expression now was too dull. Thickly crab. My brother, is he still a human being? In the bottom of his heart, there was only a wordless shock, a tingling shock. Beep 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 beep. But at the moment, the spaceship sounded an alarm. And the whole plane started to bank forward. It turned out that just now, when Red Skull was punched to the bottom of the second floor by Yi Ling. By the way, the power system of the aircraft was destroyed. That is, the furnace-type machine that extracts energy from the cosmic cube. Rogers suddenly came back to his senses, and then shouted at Yi Ling. The plane is about to fall, we must find a way to land it to a safe place. Otherwise, those super weapons are too much of a threat to the ground. Yi Ling nodded and replied to him. Don't worry buddy. I can take you, and those weapons land safely. Hearing what Yi Ling said, Rogers chose to believe it. After all, everything he saw just now is enough to prove that Yi Ling is stronger than expected. So is there anything else he can't do? Boom. Crash. However, there are always surprises in the world. Just when Rogers thought it was all over. The ground beneath his feet cracked. Immediately afterwards, only a huge amount of black shadow rushed out. What? Red Skull not only didn't die, but jumped up again. Yi Ling just wanted to fly down to touch the corpse and pick up the cosmic cube by the way. I didn't expect this product to be so durable. I have eaten my, serious two punches. But upon closer inspection, Yi Ling felt something was wrong. At the moment, I saw a sparkling sky blue cube embedded in Red Skull's chest. And those blue energies started to spread on Red Skull too. I'll go, are you riding a horse in cause Iron Man? Yi Ling complained unsteadily in his heart. The current Red Skull can withstand the energy of the cosmic cube. Shouldn't this product be teleported away immediately after picking up the cube? But anyway, Rogers seems a little dangerous now. Because Red Skull's first target turned out to be Rogers. I want you to taste the taste of loss. This sentence was obviously shouted at Yi Ling. But in the next second, Yi Ling had already flown over. This time, he aimed for Red Skull's chest. One punch. Yi Ling flew out with Red Skull's body, passing Rogers. It then broke through the top of the plane and flew outside. But then, a huge amounts of energy blast exploded in the air. 
Rogers looked up and saw the sky beyond the plane, which turned into the appearance of cosmic stars. Leaf. He shouted towards the sky, but, but there was no response for a long time. Ding. Detected the original power of the universe, space gem. Ding. The system is absorbing power of law, reorganizing space law. The system is binding the space gem. Ding. Congratulations to the host, you have obtained an SS level item, space gem. Warn. The host is being locked by the unknown the power of rules. The system activates the countermeasure program, the new coordinate position is determined, and the transmission starts. Meanwhile, in another world, countless audiences are looking forward to this scene. Red Skull. Red Skull knocked Captain America off. Oh my god, Red Skull looks too strong like this. Poor Rogers, if it wasn't for Yi Ling's accident, there would be no need to face such a powerful Red Skull. Captain America said, I might as well be on the bottom of the plane. It's over, it's over, Captain America has lost blood, and he still wants to fight Red Skull. This is going to die. If Captain America doesn't stand up, he won't be called Captain America. This is the Captain America we are familiar with. So when will Master Yi save him? Lao Luo is about to get his lunch, Master Yi, you flew back. On the screen, bullet screens were swiped one by one. Viewers couldn't bear to see Rogers get killed by Red Skull. So everyone is calling for Yi Ling to come on stage. And in the next second, it did not disappoint everyone. Yi Ling crashed directly from the nose of the plane. Don't forget the opening talk. I heard someone say they were waiting for me. Looks like the time is just right, I'm not late yet. It's almost like interacting with the barrage. Oh. Master Yi is here, he is here. There was a loud noise outside the window, and Master Yi made his debut. Smack that Red Skull, this dude was just too arrogant for Jill. Red Skull still wants to be a god. With his small size. Just bully Captain America. Delusion to become a god. Ask Master Yi if he has Iron Fist of Justice. Quick. Master Yi, let Red Skull know why the flowers are so red. That's redder than Red Skull's old face. The King of Brothers, Red Skull, is going crazy, and he dares to explode his clothes. He thought he was a Saiyan. It's okay to explode his clothes, but a bald man can't even get his hair, so he wants to explode. Here it comes. It's coming. Red Skull is going big. But what happened next made everyone exclaim even more. Red Skull's big fist was directly blocked by Yi Ling's small fist. Strong frontal toughness. It's not catching it with your palm, let alone dodging it. The ultimate collision completely relying on physical strength. Fist. It's grandpa's favorite fist fight. Red Skull's punch was ineffective, Master Yi acted relaxed and comfortable. Wait. Master Yi's eyes have changed. Master Yi is about to open up too. Fight. 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 Pound the Red Skull. The next moment seemed to be in response to the audience's expectations. The camera zoomed in again, and the time flow slowed down again. The close-up of the screen shows Yi Ling's body, arms and muscles. I saw this strong and muscular body like an ancient Greek statue, like a fixed star with unparalleled energy. They even saw the red lightning flashing in Yi Ling's eyes. Die to me. The burst of shouting like a drum beat and hammer shocked everyone's minds. Immediately, the punch stabbed out, and the huge body of Red Skull also flew out backwards. But not only that. In slow motion, Yi Ling followed with incredible speed. Before Red Skull's body hit the ground. Second punch. Boom. Red Skull was smashed directly to the bottom of the plane like a humanoid cannonball. At this time, the barrage completely exploded. Master Yi, I drop Superman. Master Yi, you will always be a god. Yyds. This is too explosive. Who would have thought that the Red Skull who just blasted Captain America? Now I've been punched to the ground by Yi Ling Bang Bang. Yi Ling, is he Superman? I can't believe this is some shit strengthening serum. Master Yi can turn into fighting spirit. If he walks through the air, what about this super fighter? The Red Skull people are straight up stupid. I thought I could catch up with you, but you are sneaky and invincible. This is simply a dimensionality reduction blow. It's not from the same dimension. Red Skull. I should be under the car not in the car, seeing how awesome you guys are. From now on, this place will be called Master Yi Plaza. Let me see who dares to object. Master Yi is awesome. Crackling. 
Today Yi Ling battled to become a god, as I said, it won't work even if the god King Odin comes. Dot dot dot. The barrage of at the moment has become the world of, Yi Kui, fans. Because they know, from now on, Yi Ling will be a topic that the Marvel Universe cannot avoid. There will definitely be a place for Yi Ling in the future Marvel Universe. So next, what kind of invincible posture will Yi Ling take to challenge the heroes of Marvel? For example, the director of the Cosmic Family Planning Commission, the real person named Titan Zishu. Thanos, Thanos. However, just as the audience had a carnival, the movie screen turned upside down. What? Red Skull is alive again with the Cosmic Cube inlaid on his chest. Do you still have such an adaptation? Red Skull plus Cosmic Cube equals Boss Phase 2. 6666, I didn't expect Red Skull to keep a hand. Could it be because of the further strengthening of Red Skull's physical strength? So his at the moment can slightly resist the erosion of the Cosmic Cube. But I don't think he can last long. It seems that the final owner of the Cosmic Cube must be Yi Ling. Yi Ling plus Space Gem, absolutely invincible. Ahem, the last one who said he was invincible has already drifted into outer space. Immediately afterwards, Yi Ling flew over and rescued Rogers and flew out of the cabin with the Red Skull. At the moment, the two were twirling and soaring crazily in the air. I saw Red Skull's chest, the Cosmic Cube, after being punched by Yi Ling. Cracks have appeared quickly. Finally. Boom. Fragmentation. Ah. Red Skull screamed. Immediately, a burst of huge amounts of energy exploded. Suddenly, the entire sky turned into a cosmic scene of shining stars. At the same time, under the gaze of all the audience, Red Skull's body began to disintegrate, as if being absorbed by a wave of energy. It seems that the great villain Red Skull is about to complete his historical mission. Then, the audience's eyes fell on Yi Ling again. But all I saw was the space gem shining with a strange light, floating on Yi Ling's chest. What the hell is it? Could it be that the space gem still recognizes the master? But just when everyone thought it was all over. Another wave of energy also fell from the sky, as if acting on Red Skull. Immediately afterwards, Yi Ling disappeared in this energy flow. Stunned, the audience was completely stunned. What is the situation? Could it be that Yi Ling is going to be arrested to become Soul Gem's Asgardian? While Rogers shouted, Yi Ling did not respond. It was as if he had completely disappeared from this world. What kind of sadness and despair is this for Rogers? Because in his opinion, Yi Ling just wanted to save him. Only then chose to fly into the sky with Red Skull, and it exploded. Then, he can only complete this mission by himself. He must drive this plane full of super weapons to the Arctic Circle. After a long silence, the audience seemed unable to accept such an ending. And the movie has come to an end. I have to say that this whole movie, this unique story, and the character of Yi Ling. They all left an indelible impression. It's just that such an ending, although not a complete tragedy, is not a happy ending either. The atmosphere seemed to fall into a kind of silence, as if mourning for Yi Ling. Until, the Easter eggs at the end of the movie arrived as promised. As soon as the screen turned, there was the sound of raging waves. One can even hear a person gasping. Immediately afterwards, the camera slowly zoomed up and slowly surfaced from the water. See it, everyone sees it. The back view of a hot man. Stand on the shore. And between his left middle finger, there is a blue ring shining. Oh, oh, oh. Yi Ling, he is still alive. I knew it. It's impossible for him to leave the stage. Master Yi, YYDS. Master Yi, the king will return. The movie ends. Ding. Congratulations to the host, you have completed the hidden task, Lord of Space Gems. You have already got this infinite gems from Red Skull. With this gem, you will be able to appear in any corner of the universe at will regardless of distance barriers. In Master the Space Law, you can distort the space and cast any space magic at your fingertips. You have been awarded 100,000 awakening points. A white light flickered in front of Yi Ling's eyes. But then, I felt that I was in a dark and cold world. Wait. This feeling, could it be that I am in the sea water? With the restoration of all senses and consciousness. Yi Ling opened his eyes suddenly, and he was even more sure that he was in the sea water. As Superman, he naturally survives by ingesting oxygen directly through his skin. 
So just stay in the sea like this, no matter how long it is, there is no problem. But Yi Ling is obviously not a sea creature. What's more, he is still a superman, what's the matter if he stays in the water without basking in the sun for a day? Ever since, Yi Ling swung his hands back suddenly, and his whole body jumped up like a torpedo. It didn't take long for the visibility of the sea water to become clearer. This shows that he is getting closer and closer to the sea surface. With a bang, he jumped out of the sea and into the air. Phew, it feels so good to breathe the air. The cold and humid sea is really not a place for people to stay. The sun is so bright. Wait, I have to save Rogers. This guy must be soaking in the water and freezing too much now, ha ha ha. Yi Ling raised his left hand and saw the ring on his hand. This is a sky blue ring that is not too big and has a very beautiful shape. If you look carefully, the blue crystal on the top of the ring seems to still be flowing with the galaxy universe. This is the space gem. Through the system, Yi Ling knew that this infinite gems had been bound to him and completely became his property. The ring is also systematically changed according to his personal preferences. This is the same as turning into any other necklace, bracelet or headgear. But now that you have the space gem, then he now also has the corresponding space power of law. For example, teleportation, appearing anywhere in the universe instantly. But preferably somewhere known, or with safe, accurate spatial coordinates. After all, in the entire universe, there is no shortage of that kind of extremely dangerous space environment, or the private domain of some big shots. The current Yi Ling hasn't even learned FTL flight yet. If she is really caught by some big bosses, she will definitely not have his good fruit to eat. Besides, he hasn't been on the earth enough yet, what is he doing in the outside world? The most important thing now is to go home, find Rogers, and meet Carter, she should be worried. However, when Yi Ling began to build the image of Rogers and the plane in his mind, the space gem is not responding. Well, maybe the location of Roger's crash wasn't clear enough. Then go back to the base of the strategic science department that was contracted first. Okay. The space gem is still unresponsive. Logically speaking, the base is where Yi Ling stayed, and going back through the space gem is as easy as pie. But why is he still unable to activate the space gem? Yi Ling looked tens of kilometers away, and then had a thought. The space gem was activated, the blue light flashed, and he had crossed tens of kilometers of space in an instant. It's obviously usable, it's not bad. Also at the moment, the system in my mind suddenly gave a reminder. Ding. The current space gem cannot move across universe dimensions. Please host to select the space coordinates of the current universe to move. What? Did I time travel again? Which universe am I in now? Yi Ling was dumbfounded, he had calculated everything. He didn't expect that he actually ran into another universe. Ding. This is the universe numbered. Based on the analysis of existing intelligence data, this is the world of, Wonder Woman. I actually came from the DC universe. What the hell is going on here? Ding. This is the reason why the system anti-program takes effect. The host was previously locked by the special The Power of Rules, and can only be counteracted by Dimension jumping through this program for the time being. Then can I travel back again? Yi Ling continued to question the system. Ding. The host must collect enough power of law in this universe. The system can start the next Dimension jump. Power of Law. What is the Power of Law? Ding. Power of Law, similar to the Space Gem currently worn by the host. However, Space Gem is not a product of the law of this universe, so it cannot take effect instead. Well, Yi Ling probably understands now. Because I was affected by some unknown force. So the system chose to throw itself into the, Wonder Woman, of the DC Universe. If he still wants to go back to the original world, then he must be in this world. Finding something as awesome as the Space Gem, it's that easy. So where should I go to find things that contain power of law? Yi Ling was thinking. Suddenly, his eyes lit up. Regarding the power of gods, is it considered power of law? Then his next goal is very clear. Goal, Paradise Island. According to the setting, there is a place created by Zeus through divine power. In order to give the Amazons a peaceful and pure land where they can survive. At the same time, to prevent them from being found by Ares, the god of war. 
Definitely, there is still a special existence there. The heroine of the universe. Diana, the daughter of Zeus and Hippolyta. Also an important member of the future Justice League, Wonder Woman. There is no question that Diana definitely had God bloodline. So, does she have the power of law? Yi Ling decided to give it a try. After all, this place is very close to his current location. And compared to going to the bottom of the cold, wet deep ocean to find that harpoon. He thinks sunbathing on Paradise Island is more suitable for him. Ever since, the space gem started. Jump in space, move instantly. Gululu, Joe. Yi Ling actually moved himself into the sea again. In fact, this can't be completely blamed on him. Because the entire Paradise Island is shrouded in Zeus's magical barrier. Therefore, it is inevitable that there will be a little difference in space movement and so on. But it doesn't matter, Yi Ling is very close to the coast now. Just a few steps and you're ashore. But just after Yi Ling hit the shore, a figure descended from the sky and landed in front of him. Woman. It must be a woman. On this paradise island, except for him, Yi Ling. How could another man appear? And Yi Ling could see clearly the figure of this woman just now. It was swung down from the cliff in front by pulling a rope. So what kind of woman would choose such a crazy way of appearance? Oh, it turns out it's an Amazon woman, so it's fine. This group of women who can run horses on their arms, draw bows and arrows, and ride horses to slash and kill can play extreme sports such as cliff bungee jumping. That must be a commonplace thing. However, the woman in front of me, to be more precise, should be just a girl. His head even only reaches his own chest, and he looks like 18 or 19 years old at most. But when it comes to appearance, it can indeed be regarded as shocking. This girl and Yi Ling were originally in that world, and those beauties on the internet were often said to be rare in thousands of years. The two are not on the same level at all. Anyway, Yi Ling can't understand those artificial all faces, peeling the skin and grinding the bones, making the face look like a layer of flour, and pulling the beauty special effects to the highest internet celebrity. If the top buddies on the list have seen the true colors of these internet celebrities, they will definitely sell their accounts on the spot and run away. And if you let the top buddies take a look at the girl in front of Yi Ling. Hey, that's absolutely willing, I'm willing to get a look from her, a smile from her even after I've emptied my family. This girl's eyes are as bright as the stars, pure without any impurities. She just looked at Yi Ling full of curiosity. Even Yi Ling, a thick-skinned guy, was a little embarrassed. But at this time, Yi Ling already had a guess in his mind. Could it be that she is the princess of this paradise island, the daughter of priest Zeus and Hippolyta, Diana? The reason why Yi Ling still relies on conjecture. It was because he was on the face of this unbelievably beautiful girl. Did not see the shadow of an actress surnamed Guy. In other words, the girl in front of her is at least 10 orders of magnitude more beautiful than that actress. No wonder, there is such a description in the settings of the DC universe. She is as beautiful as Aphrodite, as wise as Athena, quicker than Hermes, and stronger than Hercules. Sure enough, in this place, only Diana was worthy of such a reputation. But next, the girl's first sentence. It almost made Yi Ling lose his waist. Although her voice is so crisp and beautiful. You're a man, aren't you? Good guy, this is the first time Yi Ling has been greeted like this. But remembering Diana's birth, could it be that he was the first man she saw? Yi Ling didn't know whether to laugh or cry, so he could only nod his head. As you can see, I'm definitely a man. Also, let me formally introduce myself. My name is Yi Ling, from the Dragon Kingdom. Currently, he is a traveler and a scholar. So, what about you, girl? I heard Yi Ling answer like this. The curiosity and excitement on Diana's little face became even stronger. She even approached Yi Ling without hesitation. He looked him over from top to bottom. As if admiring some rare treasure. Only then did I speak, even in Chinese. My name is Diana, and this is Paradise Island. Are you really from Dragon Country? I know that Dragon Kingdom is an ancient, beautiful and mysterious kingdom. There are indeed some powers beyond ordinary people's imagination. So you're here on their behalf. Amazonians can master the use of hundreds of languages. No wonder Diana can speak idiomatic and fluent Chinese. Being able to hear Chinese in a foreign country really made Yi Ling have a good impression of Diana. Well, 
so to speak. I just don't know, do you welcome me here? I have absolutely no ill will towards this place. Diana was very happy. Maybe it's all these years since she was a child. It is the first time to communicate with people outside the clan. And he is a real man. Definitely. We Amazons have always loved peace. Only. Speaking of this, Diana's expression suddenly became a little tangled. A pair of beautiful and neat eyebrows also frowned. It's just my mother, she's a bit hard to talk to. And the people on our island, I'm afraid it's a little difficult to talk about. Diana's expression was tactful enough. Yi Ling definitely also knows what the other Amazons on this paradise island have experienced. The reason why they hid on this island was to avoid the humans outside, and what about Ares? And there has long been a feud between Amazons and humans. And just when Yi Ling was thinking like this, suddenly, there was a burst of horn whining in the distance. Looking up into the distance, there is a puff of smoke and dust, it is the Amazon army. These warlike women rode horses, carrying bows and arrows, and galloped straight towards this place. Yi Ling shrugged his shoulders, and said helplessly. Well, it looks like that. Your clansmen seem to be a little irritable. Maybe later, you will have to say something nice for me. However, Yi Ling turned his head. I saw Diana take two steps back involuntarily. His face was flustered, and he acted like he was at a loss. I managed to sneak out today. My god. My mother, so many people have arrested me. She must be mad. Yi Ling, why don't you say something nice for me later? Watching Diana blink her eyes, she said to herself cowardly. Yi Ling is speechless. What about being as smart as Athena? Is it braver than Hercules? Now it turned into a situation where two rookies huddled together to keep warm. Definitely, it's not that Yi Ling is afraid of these women. But he felt that since there was no conflict of interest, then there is no need for violence. After all, we are all civilized people, not barbarians. Problems that can be solved by communicating with each other, why bother to use violence? Then, to his lament, Yi Ling grossly underestimated how savage these Amazons were. Diana. Get away from her. Ares Lackey. The last two sentences were obviously shouted at the man Yi Ling. Headed by an Amazon warrior. There are not many armors on his body, and he can even see many scars on his arms and shoulders. Whoosh. Immediately afterwards, the berserk female warrior directly threw a javelin and rushed towards Yi Ling. Okay, now the misunderstanding is big. When the hell did I become Ares lackey? Boom. There was a muffled sound. Yi Ling raised his hand and grabbed the javelin in an instant. Yi Ling's story in, Wonder Woman, begins. And on the earth in another cosmic dimension. A certain guy surnamed Wang fell into an inexplicable feeling of being lost. This feeling is like just clearing a very favorite game. Or just finished chasing a wonderful story novel. It may also be that you have just finished watching a TV series or a movie. Then suddenly I felt like I had lost something. Even looking at the sunlight shining in through the window becomes lonely. He did just finish watching a movie, this one called Captain America, 1. Then he became like this. Close your eyes, and the plots and images of those movies can emerge one by one. And what happened to that guy named Yi Ling? Where did he go with the space gem? And what about that beach? Xiao Wang never imagined that one day he would toss and turn because of a man, unable to sleep. Definitely, he was absolutely sure that he was straight. In the past, he always laughed at and even looked down on those so-called, groupies. I think that group of brainless fans have bubbles in their heads. It's a waste of money and a waste of time on an illusory idol. If it were him himself, if he had money, he would buy a few 648s, buy a few sets of skins, buy a few figures, wouldn't he be good? What idol do you have to put your heart and soul into? But now, he seemed to understand this feeling a little bit. Although he thinks that he is still very rational now. Now he is only dreaming about Yi Ling, that fool. It's not like some crazy Yi fans have gone crazy on the entire internet for, missing person notices. Hot searches about Yi Ling, the protagonist of Marvel's new stage, who is he? On the major social networking sites, it's simply not too much. And so far, no brokerage company has jumped out to give Yi Ling a platform, saying that Yi Ling is their actor. There are no studios or individuals that have been officially recognized.
In fact, it is not that some companies want to cut leaks under the banner of Yi Ling. But on the one hand, you must know that Marvel is now Disney's little brother. And Disney, known as the strongest legal department on the surface. But the key now is that Marvel's attitude towards Yi Ling is still ambiguous. After all, this involves copyright disputes. So no big company would take the risk of being invited to the, Mickey and Wonderful House, for T at all to get involved in this matter. As for some courageous small companies, want to touch C. E. Ling. Please, several of them have already been smashed to pieces by some fanatical Leaf fans, okay. Therefore, fans who had no further news about Yi Ling tried various methods to find someone on the internet. It sounds nice to call it, advertisement of missing person, but how is it different from, search for people? But in the end, they really picked up a lot of information. After all, Yi Ling was also a living person living in society before time travel. Someone sent out a primary school graduation photo with Yi Ling before. Not to mention that now, he is a big hit. Naturally, before time travel, people related to Yi Ling jumped out and continued to make trouble. After all, this is also a business, isn't it? Some people have even estimated the value now, saying that the name Yi Ling alone should be worth at least 5 billion. As for blowing too much, or blowing less. Not responsible. Yi Ling's status as an ordinary person obviously cannot satisfy the strong demand of fanatical fans. But so far, no one has been able to find his whereabouts. It is also speculated that Yi Ling is already preparing for the next remake abroad. Marvel forums here. These days it is called a lively event. It's all like New Year's Eve. Most of the fans are celebrating the birth of the superhero exclusive to Dragon Kingdom. The discussion about the protagonist Yi Ling never stops. Even all kinds of speculations about the subsequent plot are the result of hundreds of thousands of posts. On the other hand, the DC forum is separated by a wall. But the popularity of the forum these days is a bit unsatisfactory. Although everyone is American comics, DC is definitely a leader in the American comics world. But in recent years, everyone also knows that DC in the film industry is really not as moist as Marvel. For many years on Marvel's side, personal movies have been punched out first. Then when the time is ripe, an Avengers alliance will be created directly, and the heroes will gather together, that is a set of combo punches. On the other hand, in DC, the level of personal movies is uneven, that is, one can be a god, and the other can be a pull. Immediately after knowing it, I wanted to catch up with Marvel in the expansion of the universe. But with the release of the ill-fated, Justice League, fans were about to cry. What kind of god-devil thing is this, god-devil shit thing? It wasn't until the re-release of, Director's Cut of Justice League, a few years later that some word of mouth was restored. On the other hand, Marvel and at the moment have all gathered to save the world, and, Avengers Alliance 4 inches has left a name in history. It has even officially opened the next level 1 segment. So in such a big environment, the popularity of DC is really going from bad to worse. Let alone the DC forum, these days are even more miserable. Because most people, whether fans or passers-by, are all attracted by the Marvel next door. The only hot post in the forum, click in and have a look. It's all about discussing when the DC universe will have a Yi Ling, and when it will restart like Marvel next door. The owner of the DC forum, the guy with the ID, Peerless Super. That's an air blast. Can't wait to directly ban and delete posts. Talking about Marvel's superhero on DC's territory is almost drooling and envious. Is there any hope? However, he can't, because he is a, big super, and not a, black super. Dachau needs to have a son of Dachau, with justice in his heart, tolerance and magnanimity. Okay. Da Chao admitted that he did secretly watch, Captain America, one inch, more than once. It's not because he, the altar owner, also wants to betray Marvel. It's because he discovered in, Captain America, one inch, how does this Yi Ling look, the more he looks like Superman. For example, a detail, the character Yi Ling likes to bask in the sun very much. No matter whether you have something to do or you sneak out from your busy schedule, you like to stay in a sunny place. In the end, of course, it is the big battle at the end of the film. In that battle, don't be too Superman. So, Marvel is orthodox in DC. Well, 
this 10,000-year-old meme is not funny at all. But then, he suddenly discovered, why a lot of posts popped up in the forum. Could it be that Marvel Kid came over to make trouble again? Just when he was full of anger and wanted justice from heaven. But suddenly found that the title of the post seems to be a bit wrong. Shock. Wonder Woman, remake, the protagonist turned out to be him. Unbelievable, he appeared in, Wonder Woman. We will witness history. The American comics world is shaking. It was because of that man. If DC and Marvel merged. The collision of two cosmic dimensions. Will it be a new era of American comics? Trough. The altar master screamed strangely. Yi Ling grabbed the javelin that was aimed at him. Stand still and wait quietly for the group of Amazon women to rush forward and surround themselves. At this time, Diana, who was full of astonishment, was already protected by the woman who threw the javelin just now. Perhaps Diana was still amazed at Yi Ling's unarmed javelin just now. Or heard the phrase, Ares Lackey, shouted by Antiopo. Therefore, she has great doubts about Yi Ling's real identity. After all, although Diana is innocent and kind, it does not mean that she is not good at thinking. Anyway, Yi Ling is an unidentified outsider, and a man. Ares, the god of war, is a brutal, ruthless and cruel god of war. At least Diana grew up listening to such stories from childhood to adulthood. It can be said that on Paradise Island, everything related to Ares will be cast aside by the Amazons. Watching these dozens of ferocious women surround themselves in the middle. Dozens of sharp spears and javelins were pointed at his throat. Yi Ling just thought it was funny. I thought to myself that the Amazons have been separated for too long. They were obviously just some slightly stronger ordinary mortals. Not even a super soldier like Roger's Captain America. But he would rather hide on this island and keep going. Relying on the divine protection of Zeus, I feel that everything will be fine. Cold weapons such as spears, bows and arrows are also used. Whenever seeing an outsider, the first thing that arises is hostility. But they never imagined that the outside world has already undergone tremendous changes. With the advent of the First World War. Ordinary humans who they look down on. Now with only one bullet, they can easily take their lives. In fact, Yi Ling really wants to take out his M1911 from his pocket right now. Then say the classic line to this group of Amazons, My lord, times have changed. It's a pity that Yi Ling didn't intend to touch these women, at least not first. After all, he came here to seek divine power, not to kill and rob. Moreover, when he met Diana just now, he played under the banner of the Dragon Kingdom. He doesn't want to lose the face of the people of Longguo, does he? Yi Ling dropped the javelin in his hand and spread his palms said that he did not have any hostility, and then said. Ladies Amazon. Under Yi Ling, from the Dragon Kingdom on the other side of the ocean. This time, I am visiting Paradise Island as a traveler and scholar. I don't have any malice. Maybe Miss Diana can testify about this. Diana, who was hiding behind the crowd, heard Yi Ling cue her. He immediately shrank his head and stuck out his tongue. Because her fellow clansmen all turned their heads towards her. He seemed to want to use his eyes to verify the fact that, this foreign man must not be a good person. But don't wait for Diana to speak. Antiobo, who was standing in front of her, spoke first. Just now, a strange and powerful force invaded our enchantment. And obviously, you, a man with such a strong figure must be the intruder. From your body, I seem to see the shadow of the god of war. I can't imagine, apart from god of war, who else can master such a powerful and destructive energy? So, stranger, what proof do you have that you're not a lackey of Ares? Hear this Amazonian statement. Yi Ling almost laughed out of anger, okay. What kind of bullshit logic is this? Why should I prove that I'm not some shit Ares lackey? Shouldn't this kind of thing be your proof that I'm not a good person? First of all, I should probably thank this lady for the arrogant and prejudiced, compliment. As you can see, I am indeed strong enough and strong enough. It's not impossible for you to insist that I am a god of war. But before you decide that I am not a good person, should you show enough evidence to prove it? It's just powerful and destructive energy. This kind of rhetoric is obviously not convincing. I think, the people on this island should not be barbarians with only muscles and fighting in their heads, right? 
What do you think, Diana? After a wonderful mouth escape counterattack by Yi Ling. Don't forget to drag the chick Diana into muddy the water. Diana, who is named by Yi Ling again, is still in a daze. Ah, I think, what you said makes sense. I've read many books that do say that we shouldn't just see things as they appear. But Diana hadn't finished her opinion yet. It was interrupted by Antibe. Enough. Outsiders. Don't talk shit with me. The only thing we believe in here is the fist. Be obedient and grab your hands, we have our own way to prove your identity. Under the lasso of truth, no one can not tell the truth. After all, those spearheads pointed at Yi Ling got closer. It seems that this is to force Yi Ling to submit obediently. Yi Ling couldn't help raising his eyebrows. The corners of his mouth couldn't help but curl up. Wait, if I heard correctly just now. You said here, the only thing you believe in is your fist. You guys actually want to fist fight with me. Tisk tisk tisk. This is the first time I've heard someone make such a request. Want to catch Yi Ling without a fight. How is this possible? Want to put Yi Ling on a mantra lasso. That's even more impossible. Don't forget, Yi Ling now represents not only herself. He still represents the face of the Dragon Kingdom people. Wearing chains like a dog in order to prove his innocence. That's the biggest joke in the world. First the courtesy and then the soldiers, Yi Ling has already done it. So he felt that it was time to help Zeus take care of these Amazons. A seasoned warrior of the Amazons. Antiobo also felt the fighting spirit erupting from Yi Ling. She suddenly pulled out her saber, rushed through the crowd, and slashed at Yi Ling head on. Yi Ling didn't dodge or avoid, and stretched out two fingers with his right hand. Clamp the blade before it falls in front of you. Antiopo couldn't even react, and Yi Ling took the weapon away in the next second. Well, it's a nice weapon. Look at the exquisite workmanship and glyphs. In addition to being a murder weapon, it is completely an antique. A work of art. Yi Ling turned the blade over and stopped to admire it. As far as his attitude is concerned, that's a man who doesn't pay attention to people at all. Antiopo was stunned for a second. Then there was a roar. Ha. He directly punched Yi Ling. It's just a pity. Yi Ling, holding the weapon in his right hand, was still tilting his head to admire it. But the left hand completely took over Antiobo's attack with great speed. This scene is called a picturesque, elegant and calm scene. Diana, who is not far away, saw the scene where the two were fighting, her eyes were straight. Eyes are turned into small twinkling stars. It was the first time she had seen someone who could block Antiobo's attack so easily and comfortably. It is also the first time I have seen such exquisite fighting skills. And Antiobo is her teacher, the second strongest woman on the entire island. At the moment, an inexplicable emotion, like a seed. It began to take root in her heart. Don't think about tea, don't think about food, and have nothing to do all day long, so I just want to refresh Xiao Wang on the Marvel Forum. Finally, in the morning of this day, he suddenly came across a post that was pinned to the top. What's going on? In the Marvel Forum, Wonder Woman, appeared. What the hell is this? Ah, this is the beginning of a new era of American comics. Yi Ling comes to, Wonder Woman. He read the title of the post word by word. The next post is. Warner and Marvel are collectively silent. Is this a shake-up for the American comics world? Disney did not respond. In our lifetime, we may be able to see the linkage between DC and Marvel on the big screen. Carnival for American Comics fans. Our superhero, after conquering Marvel, came to DC. Wonder Woman heroine is replaced, I have never seen one more beautiful than CG animation. Xiao Wang frantically scanned the homepage of the forum. Finally, he finally dared to believe that he was not dreaming. Master Yi, who I thought about day and night, came back so soon. Not a year, not two years from the next Marvel movie remake. And it is today. He actually ran into, Wonder Woman. Although it is said that Xiao Wang has not been too interested in DC's Chaoying in the past. It's not that he doesn't feel good enough, but that it doesn't suit him. He felt exhausted from working so hard all day. Do you want him to go to the movie and suffer the brutal beating again? But for, Wonder Woman, I still think it suits my taste. But I didn't feel that the magic work needed to be brushed several times. But now, he has a reason to watch the movie again. Because Yi Ling. 
He actually appeared in, Wonder Woman, right after, Captain America, 1. A certain video barrage website opened, unexpectedly, I saw the push of, Wonder Woman, directly on the homepage. A big banner, American Comics New Era, Yi Ling and, Wonder Woman. As a member, he directly clicks to start playing. Look at the upper right corner, good guy, 11.982 million people are watching online at the same time. Dot. The film officially begins. That's right, the figure in the Easter egg is Yi Ling. I just don't know if the ring on his left hand is a space gem. I can't see it now, I can only guess like this. But at the time when the barrage was still celebrating the return of King Yi Ling. In the next second, a bubblingly beautiful girl, smashed, in front of all the audience. In Xiao Wang's words, that is, it's so beautiful. There is no need to add any modifiers at all, it is simply expressing your heart. This is even more perfect than CG modeling. What the hell? Does such beauty really exist in this world? At this moment, the faces of countless world-renowned actresses flashed in my mind, but none of them could compare with them. There are beauties. May I ask who is Yi Ling? I don't know him. I have to say, this is the real goddess. This girl should only exist in the sky, how many times can I hear it in the world? Hurry up, speed. Five seconds, I want all the information about this woman. Okay, I'm sure, this is my new wife from now on. Please don't stare at my wife and drool. You upstairs, how dare you covet my wife? Everyone, please be ashamed. Such a pure and innocent fairy is not something you can get your hands on, except me. Look, everyone. Master Yi's cheeky face is embarrassing. Wait, isn't this beauty Diana? Diana, the original movie doesn't look like this. Although the original version of Gal Gadot is also at the level of a goddess. But in the eyes of an old DC fan like me, it always feels almost meaningless. In terms of acting skills and temperament, I always feel that it is still a bit of a vase. It's all right now. This is the perfect Diana in my mind. Hey, I haven't admitted that I'm Diana yet. Don't make a big joke then. Isn't it Diana who looks like this? What does Diana really have to look like to be a heroine? Sure enough, there was nothing wrong with that sentence. Humans are visual animals. LSP is the primary productive force. As soon as the movie started, the attention of the audience and the topic of discussion were completely attracted by the beauty. So who cares why Yi Ling is here? Until the beauty on the screen opened her mouth and said such a sentence. You are a man, right? In the next second, the barrage exploded, laughing like that. Ha 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 ha. Did I hear you right? Dignified Master Yi. The man who tore up the tank with his hands and smashed the red skull was asked to be a man, right? The problem is that Master Yi is not the kind of feminine and handsome guy. I'm dying of laughter, look at Master Yi's expression, it's so funny. Sure enough, a hero is sad for a beauty. But then, Yi Ling did not disappoint the audience. There is no real, sad beauty pass. He didn't become the kind of pig brother who can't walk when he sees a beautiful woman. On the contrary, he showed the gentlemanly demeanor of being a man of the Dragon Kingdom. Politely introduced himself from Dragon Kingdom. And with peace in mind, without any malice. At the moment bullet screens swiped the screen one after another. What is the demeanor of a great country? This is, tactical retreat. Master Yi really deserves to be Master Yi. You didn't embarrass us. Master Yi acted like a diplomatic envoy. Long foreign ministry gave you a thumbs up. Wait, don't you think this scene looks familiar? It seems that in the last movie, Yi Ling also conquered the heroine in this way. I'm going. Diana is in danger. No way. Peggy Carter fainted in the toilet. It's over, it's over, Steve is going green again. Huh, why do you want to do it again? Hi, don't you know that the original hero of, Wonder Woman, is also named Steve Trevor? Steve, good guy, Master Yi, you have a grudge against Steve, don't you? The Torin gradually showed a smile you know. Prime Minister Sao also wants to join in the fun. Get out. Pure love god of war is here, the Torin surnamed Sao get out of here. But what surprised the audience even more? The next conversation between Yi Ling and Diana was actually in Chinese. And it is Mandarin with the purest accent. My ears heard me right. Diana actually spoke Mandarin. Tears. This is the first time I heard such authentic Chinese in a super English movie. 
This is not dubbing, you can tell by the lip shape. It's awesome. It's not against peace at all. It seems that when I marry Diana as my wife in the future, there will be no problem with communication. Master Yi has exported culture again. I love it. Antiobo really couldn't shake Yi Ling at all. She just felt like she was hitting an iron block with her fists and feet. On the other hand, this man still has the leisure to appreciate swords. But my hands and feet were so painful from the shock. Sure enough, this man possessed a power unmatched by ordinary people. And she is even more convinced that this person is absolutely inseparable from Ares. Just listen to her scolding. Amazons don't fear battle. Even if we risk our lives, we will hold you back. Immediately afterwards, she turned her head and yelled at Diana. Run. Run to your mother. Only there is a way to deal with this man. After all, under her call, other female Amazon warriors attacked Yi Ling one after another. Yi Ling at the moment is quite helpless. Is this woman suffering from persecution paranoia? Obviously, I didn't show that I wanted to fight you to the death, and I didn't want to catch Diana. It's just this woman's crazy imagination. Well, since that was the case, Yi Ling didn't bother to be polite with them anymore. I saw Yi Ling raised his left hand, and the space gem ring flashed instantly. An invisible force spread towards his surroundings. Immediately afterwards, the air seemed to shatter into mirrors one after another. The attacks of these Amazon female warriors all failed. Mirror world, a kind of space magic, its strength is directly linked to the magic power of the caster. It can create a space that is completely isolated from reality and can be distorted at will according to the caster's will. After owning the space gem, even if Yi Ling is not a magician, he can easily cast it. So in the astonishment of Diana, these Amazon female warriors were locked in a cage like guinea pigs. Let them yell, growl and chop the air with their weapons. Can't break free from it. On the contrary, it was the undulating and twisting ground that made them jump up and down and run around. And the instigator of all this, Yi Ling at the moment, is like nothing happened. Putting his hands behind his back, he walked towards Diana step by step. Diana saw it all. She did not follow Antiobo's instructions to flee. Perhaps her intuition was telling her that the Yi Ling in front of her was indeed not a bad person. So she chose to believe in Yi Ling, which is very rare. After all, the ones who fought Yi Ling just now were all from her clan. The one who watched her grow up. Therefore, she can't just leave her fellow clan alone. After all, she is as kind and simple as she is. I saw Diana said anxiously. Yi Ling, you know I trust you. For all that just happened. I think Paradise Island will definitely give you an explanation. And Antiobo, let me convince her. I have this confidence. So, I also ask you to let them go. Yi Ling began to appreciate this Diana a little bit. Probably some kind of trait she was born with. It made her more willing to believe her eyes. I am also more willing to believe in the truth that comes from books. Instead of blindly following, becoming full of arrogance and prejudice. Well, since little Diana has spoken. Then I will have a lot of adults and don't care about them. After all, you are also the first friend I met on this island. So, are we friends? Hearing what Yi Ling said, Diana naturally nodded immediately. Yeah, we're definitely friends. But, can you please stop calling me little Diana? No matter how you count, I'm already an adult. Diana wrinkled her small and exquisite nose and retorted. But from Yi Ling's point of view, she is still a little girl who can't grow up. Yi Ling didn't intend to tease her anymore. Because he suddenly had a perception that a certain woman had already arrived. Click, I saw him snap his fingers. The mirror world that trapped a group of Amazon female warriors is lifted, and they are finally free. I saw one by one panting, froze in place. It seems that the will to fight has been worn down a lot. Very powerful space magic. That's something we Amazonians can't match. In addition, thank you for being so noble and letting go of my sister and other sisters. At the moment, Hippolyta on horseback finally arrives. Wearing the queen's crown exclusive to the Amazons, wearing leather fur, and golden armor. If Yi Ling's guess is correct, the one she is carrying on her back is the god-killing sword. It seems that this woman is also prepared. But it shouldn't be that unreasonable. Mother. Diana is now directly transformed into a quail. 
Shrinking his head in cowardice, he ran behind Hippolyta obediently. Hippolyta gave her a, I'll fix you later, look. Then he set his sights on Yi Ling again. At the same time, because of her appearance, the other Amazons stopped thinking about continuing to attack. My lady, you must be the famous Hippolyta. The master of this paradise island, the queen of the Amazons. Yi Ling nodded, and reintroduced his background. Just like I said to Diana before. But this time, Hippolyta did not continue to care about Yi Ling's identity. She didn't even rudely offer to use a mantra lasso. Instead, he gave Yi Ling enough respect and courtesy. Maybe Hippolyta knew it herself. With sheer force alone, even the entire Paradise Island can't do anything to Yi Ling. That being the case, if you can't come hard, let's come soft. Immediately, she invited Yi Ling, a visitor, to her palace to continue talking in detail. Yi Ling didn't refuse, after all, wasn't that the purpose of his trip. As for what medicine is sold in this Hippolyte gourd, it doesn't matter if it's sincere or ulterior motives, Yi Ling doesn't care. After all, there is an old saying in Longguo that when the soldiers come, the water will be blocked and the soil will be covered. With a small paradise island, what kind of waves can he turn over in his hands? Yi Ling rode a horse and followed the queen and princess to the city of Amazon, with a long procession behind them. But what happened next, made Yi Ling a little unbearable. Because he suddenly remembered that all the people on this island were women. Could it be that this is the daughter country where Tang Seng and his disciples came? Although it's a joke, but in reality, there are only women in sight. And I am the first man to officially land on the island in these thousands of years. It's normal to be noticed by one, two, five or six women. Ten, eight, ten or twenty women can say, I'm so attractive, in the eyes of ten or eight women. But being looked at by these thousands of women, even tens of thousands of women in the whole city. To be honest, it is more difficult to accept. Yi Ling felt that he was really a big brother now. Yi Ling and Hippolyta negotiated terms. First of all, Yi Ling can settle down in this place called Paradise Island. He can even have a piece of his own private domain. Don't worry about being disturbed by other curious women on the island. Secondly, Yi Ling needs to abide by the rules of the Amazons on Paradise Island. Nothing can be done to endanger the safety of Amazonians. A certain temple that is called a forbidden place cannot be set foot. Very simple and clear agreement. It doesn't take a brain at all to understand. However, Yi Ling was also given a right. That is, he can freely enter and exit the graphic collection of the Amazons. The definitely premise is to enter it with the purpose of learning, not anything else. This is a good thing for both parties. The Amazons have avoided an impossible war to win. Yi Ling also achieved his goal of staying on Paradise Island without much effort. And all this is due to the Queen of the Amazons, a woman named Hippolyta. Sure enough, no one who can bear the heavy responsibility of the rise and fall of a family is a pure reckless man. In terms of Jungji's mediation, it is just right. After that, Yi Ling refused Hippolyta's offer to let him live in the palace. Yi Ling said he would find a place to live on Paradise Island near the cliffs. Because I have to live among a large group of women who are very curious about themselves. It's scary just thinking about it. It's not like he's leaning on the lower half, he's green and thinking about his body, and he thinks that it can be a woman. Definitely, he does not exclude all women on the island. For example, Diana, he thought it was very good. At least with this innocent girl. There is no need to play any tricks and think about gains and losses. They can even chat in their native dialect, can't they? And with Diana's appearance, just standing there is a beautiful landscape, okay. The old saying goes well, Grandpa looks at beautiful girls every day, not for anything else, just to be happy. Yi Ling chose to build the residence herself. Although the Amazons didn't say they were going to help him build a house. But Diana was very curious why Yi Ling refused to live in the palace. So how will he solve the problem of accommodation? Could it be possible to live in a cave and be a savage? In this regard, Diana, who was full of curiosity, skipped class again today. The purpose is to find out what this guy Yi Ling is doing. But then, Diana, who came along the cliff by the sea, was shocked. How is this going? Why did a three-story stone building rise here just one day later? It's just incredible. How on earth did he do it? 
Just as Diana was thinking, Yi Ling's figure appeared from nowhere, and suddenly appeared beside her. Little Diana, did you skip class again today? Unexpectedly, Yi Ling's first sentence choked her up. Ahem. Skipping class, how can it be considered skipping class? I've learned it all. Also, as the owner of this room, shouldn't you invite me in for a sit down? Diana immediately changed the subject. Yi Ling didn't bother to argue with her, after all, he was not a parent. Everyone who comes is a guest, please come in. With a wave of Yi Ling's hand, the door of the house opened by itself. Definitely, the door must be made of wood, otherwise it will become a stone tomb. He is not the descendant of the ancient tomb sect. Entering the house, Diana's eyes lit up again. Although this house is definitely not as grand as her family's palace. But everything inside made her feel novel and comfortable. She continued to ask Yi Ling curiously. So how do you do it? I mean in just one day, the house was built. Yi Ling didn't intend to hide her, and replied directly. This is my magic ability, you have seen it before. I can easily change any structure of the space. And space is the carrier of all matter, so I want to build a house. Just put all the materials where they should be. Right now, all that's missing here are some furnishings. Diana listened speciously, and nodded again. So it's magical magic, right? Then can I learn? She blinked her bright eyes, full of anticipation that no one could refuse. Yi Ling didn't dare to look at her anymore. So he ruthlessly and cruelly rejected Diana. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. Diana, who was slightly disappointed, sighed pitifully. But he didn't show much discomfort. Instead, he comforted himself. Well, as expected. It's like my mother has always kept me out of training. You always have your reasons. But fortunately, Aunt Eve has been secretly teaching me. Hearing this, Yi Ling felt that it was not impossible for him to do anything. For example, tell me about Diana's martial arts. From now on, when Diana develops and becomes famous all over the world. When asked by others, as a teacher, I have a bright face, don't I? So Yi Ling continued to speak. Magic things really don't work. However, what do you think of my skills? The brilliance in Diana's eyes shone again. You are definitely amazing. Even Antib is no match for you. So can you give me some pointers? Yi Ling nodded in agreement. Then I saw Diana jump up and down for joy. This appearance, as expected, is still a child's heart. For Yi Ling teaching Diana about it. Hippolyta naturally had other ways to know, but she still acquiesced. And the only person who was upset was probably Antiopo. Antiopo, baring its teeth and claws like a cat whose kitten has been robbed. She challenged Yi Ling more than once. I don't know if it's for her sense of honor as a soldier. Or maybe just jealous of Diana and Yi Ling's growing relationship. Anyway, she just doesn't give up. Although Yi Ling has said to her. Your Amazon's martial arts, that's all. When I fought against you for the first time, I almost learned it. As for now, even if I don't use magic, don't use my strength, or even abandon my agility. With the same physical fitness as you, I can still torture you with one hand. You can also close your eyes. It can only be said that Yi Ling's kindness and patience are completely reserved for Diana. For this Antiobo, it's called Shrimp and Pig's Heart. It made her feel worse than killing her directly. After all, she did it all on her own. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.